same people here. <laughs> wow. How about that? Oh shoot! <laughs> you were alive, weren't you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh no! It was noticed. The failfish has been deployed in the chat. <laughs> failfish. Go get a hat. You don't look out of place. I actually don't have one. I don't actually have anything like that. You don't have a hat. Yeah, I don't have a hat. Doesn't uh, get cold in England. Not really. No, not 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 compared to to you guys. No, not even close. I don't know. If it gets kind of below ten degrees people, Celsius, it's really right. that's kind of wow, well, chilly. It got to like thirty four C or whatever, like a month ago, and you guys were gonna like die. Yeah. So that... do you just live within like a plus or minus ten temperature range? Yeah, pretty time? pretty much. Wow. Thirty four is people just start dropping dead everywhere. They just can't cope with it. <laughs> it was, I, I think, like, uh, quarter of this had tweeted at me that it was 12. I was like, bro, it's 7 here. <laughs> oh. And that's nothing. That's not even, we're not even getting cold yet. When it's minus 15, then it's like, okay, now it's cold outside. Shit's freezing. <laughs> minus 15. Okay, we don't get it that cold, though. Not it gets here. cold. Here. We're right in that... that just meh zone. I don't know what minus 15 is in Fahrenheit. It's like... Like 15. Like does, it, yeah. does it get the same after zero? No, it's what like minus 40. It gets, it gets the same at like... It gets yeah. the same at one of them. Yeah, negative 32 40. is zero. Oh, negative, negative 40. Negative yeah, 40. it's the same, negative right? 40. Yeah, there you go. Ne <clears throat> yeah, 32 Fahrenheit is zero Celsius, and then at negative 40, they go. both become yeah. negative 40. I think so. Uh, so so yeah, Fahrenheit kind of catches up to Celsius. It doesn't get negative 40 here. <laughs> it does, here, with the wind chill. Wow. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like, like a horrible place to live. I, I think it was like negative, with the wind chill, I think it was only negative 33 or 32 or something last year. I think it's the lowest it got here. But we live on the edge of the lake or the bay or whatever you want to call it. So it all bay. warms up a little bit. Yeah, so that, like some of the snow and stuff misses us because it's like a valley. Bay spelled B A E. Yes. Yeah, exactly. that's right. Okay. <laughs> His bay is warm, so he. Oh wow! <laughs> there he gets too cold. <laughs> Settling up to it. Wow. So what's going on? Uh, uh, not raids. Like our lives. Yeah. Or, like, no, no raids. Yeah. Like... Listen, yeah. this is the Weather Channel. We don't talk about oh. Guild Wars 2 here. Nah, wow. that never happens. It's just four Damn. or five guys talking about their life, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so raids, yeah, or lack of. Yeah. In <laughs> fact, what, what about raids? What, 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 about what raids? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what you guys were doing. I got to raid. It was I, I got to fight the first three things, but that was it. I the, was the at first work. three bosses. Yeah, or, or mini bosses. Or, I had somebody I come work. to my channel. I'll, I I think um I'm oh, sorry. Did I interrupt? You interrupted everyone, Doror. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, I was raiding for maybe like ten minutes. I was raiding. I was playing the game for maybe ten, fifteen minutes, and somebody comes to my channel. The first two bosses are dead. The game sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm oh like, boy. Wait a minute. There aren't two bosses. There's only one boss this weekend. What are you talking about? So then somebody started explaining, oh, he's talking about the trash mobs, the, the <laughs> mini bosses, whatever you want to call them. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think it was quite funny to see when people couldn't really get to the actual boss, they just started um, going ham on the other three, like demeaning them for what they weren't, so to speak. I, it, was, it was a little funny. Yeah. yeah. These trash mobs are too trashy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I, this morning, actually, I think it was posted a long time ago, but uh, a random user put up a video of him on a Revenant uh, soloing, soloing uh, everything. And, <laughs> and so, yeah, he soloed all the trash, got through it all, uh, but obviously couldn't beat the timer on the on the, on the main bus. But, it's actually... And also, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm, no, I, no, I keep was just interrupting say, people. I'm, make, I, I'm, really I'm, make I'm horrible. Things. You, you ter I mean, get your game together, Doror. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what were you going to say, though? Uh, it, it's actually not a timer, though. It's, it's or 
uh, a time limit, so to speak. It's just an enraged timer. You can still fight him afterwards. Right. Right. Yeah, but he kills you because he does 500% more damage. Yeah. That's it? I noticed that as well. It's like saying, yeah, it's not really prison. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> You're just locked up all day. <laughs> I mean, if you get him to super low health... At, at that point, yeah. you still stand a you chance. Can, I, I maybe. Would, uh, you can, you might, you might. Yeah, I mean, it's not me. It's not like uh, in in other MMOs where once the enrage timer's up, you basically lose immediately. Well, That's most most enrage timers work the most enrage timers work the same way. Once it hits the enrage, he doesn't instantly kill everybody, but he basically becomes a, a raving maniac and runs around one shotting people until you're all dead. It's basically how it usually yeah. works, and it's no different in Guild Wars 2. Yeah. It, it sort of uh, de-incentivizes, de if that's a word, uh, to solo. Like, that's not going to be possible. if Because you have to do it in well, under 8 minutes, and if it, has, if it has that health bar, and the split between the three in, in between the faces, that's going to be a real, real bitch to do it with lower main parties. I, I don't even know that that's going to be... I mean... <laughs> Maybe like eight people instead of ten could do it, but I saw how much health it has because someone plays with the third party program. Uh, not me. <laughs> not me. Someone, Name names. Hashtag ban Brazil. Ban Brazil. And for reference, Lupicus has 1.4 million health. And I think Moss Man has like 1.5 to 2 million health. And the Veil Guardian has 22 million health. And <laughs> Timer. So it's not going to be defeated in, like, anything much less than 10 people. Like, maybe 8. Probably not, but I don't know. It's Depends on the synergy, yeah. Yeah. And it was funny. Like, I was hearing about other people that were, like, playing with it. And I was hearing about groups that didn't have any elementalists in it. Like, it was all Warriors and Revenants. And I was like, yes, yes, please bring back 2012. This is perfect. <laughs> and I was getting really excited. And then, like, the groups with Elementalists and stuff had no might and weren't doing any damage. And so the Berserker meta is coming back and better mm. than ever with only heavies. It's perfect. Mm. Well, that brings back the possibility of, like, because this is the, it's a beta of the raids. Do you think they are just, you know, first of all, this beta succeeded in that they discovered a terrible, terrible flaw in their many, UI. Many, yeah. Well, there's, <laughs> there's been a lot of bugs with beta. Let's yeah. just say that. So do you think that this beta raid reveal thing was intentionally just to find these bugs rather than actually... Because um, I think that the 22 million HP is probably tweaked a little high, like I said a long time ago. I don't you don't think, think so. the 22 million... I can million promise you that's no. not. No. It I seems I, quite fitting, I, I, I feel can, like. I promise you, I could promise you beyond a shadow of a doubt. Beyond a shadow of yes. a doubt. Beyond, beyond the shadow. a shadow of a doubt. No shadows. It, it's uh, going to remain that high. Okay. It seems okay. good. It, his health area seems, uh, I mean, Shin had a group in there. I haven't been able to see everybody, and I watched the EG video. But, I mean, they were doing damage to him. They were hurting him and killing him, yeah. you know? Uh, they didn't have perfect party composition because the UI was screwed up and the raids weren't up for very long. But mm. uh, if it was up all weekend and people were able to make proper parties and all that kind of stuff, somebody would have killed it this weekend or several of somebody's would have killed it this weekend. He's not impossible, but he is. He does look to be an extremely interesting fight. He does seem to be, you know, difficulty. I don't know. That's, that's a weird thing to talk about, right? But. It seemed fun and difficult to me, but what do I know? I was in there with seven people, and we had three healers, and it was kind of terrible. But you know, fun like a fun encounter nonetheless. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think each of the bosses individually are going to be super insane. Like I think they're going to be challenging. That's that's one thing. But like this is, as they said, the first boss of like what three, three. many. So yeah. Yeah, I think if they all stay about this difficulty. It'll eventually get to the point where people are just casually doing raids for their legendary armor. Because the the difficulty, I'm happy that the difficulty comes in figuring it out. And I'm going to be happy if some of the difficulty stays, like, where you can't just AFK through it and burst the boss down in five seconds. That will be nice, because the problem 
with bosses and fractals and dungeons is that they have mechanics, but they don't have enough health. And they die really fast, and there are things that do too much damage. But when you have an HP pool of 22 million, even if Ice Bow is unnerfed, like, that's not going to make a huge difference. So... The other thing that was nice was there was the mini boss or trash or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And the boss itself where you needed to have boon stripping. Um, and now condition I didn't, damage. And condition damage. Now, I didn't get to the phase where you needed to boon strip the actual boss, but the mini boss was putting this uh, boon on himself that you needed to strip every 10 seconds. So you needed to, you needed to rotate that boon strip, which is hmm. pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what um, we wanted to see, though. Uh, and now, yeah. now look what yes. Necro can do. Necro, you need a Necro. Except Necromancer you don't. Is, is very good in, in raids. Not, yeah. not just uh, Necros. I mean, there's other classes <laughs> that can boon strip as well, yeah. but uh, he, for sure. Yeah. It's nice to see, like, hey, you need a couple of these. You need to be in a team speak and coordinate, like, Necro 1, strip. You know, Thief, strip. Mm. Exactly. You know, like, rotate around your boon strip or whatever else you, you need to do. And positioning the boss is extremely important. He has this front arc like you see this arrow, you need to be damaging him from, from the back and, and stuff to do it properly. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a blue lightning orb that pulses mm. lightning down in, in a red AoE, and you can see that it's timed, and you need a four to five people to stand in that to, to mitigate damage for the entire raid. If you it, miss one of those... Four. You just get four. Shrek immediately. Yeah. Four. <laughs> you take... Yeah. You, you don't, you don't instantly die, but you take a, like 10, you take a damage. lot of damage. Yeah, like as a druid, it wasn't one shotting me, but Master was on a guardian. And it was like instantly killing him if we didn't get in there. So, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Oh. And that's exactly what uh, a good raid design is. You know, it's not, it's not just yeah, we're gonna make it's gonna have attacks that kill you instantly. And you just have to do. There's a a certain amount of damage you need to do, otherwise you just lose. Is this, is this sort of thing with coordination throughout the party and using as many different mechanics from the game as possible? What the hell? <laughs> I'm, I'm imitating Wait, boots because gets <laughs> yeah. two ones. Okay, the double the double headphones. Or headphones, yes. Now that's a isn't thumbnail. This, uh, isn't this the meta? You need to wear a pair around your neck and. Oh, I've seen people <laughs> do that head. actually. <laughs> I've, I, I've seen some pro gamers do that. That's actually pretty interesting to me. I've I'm never pro. understood that. I'm pro music now. As like a fashion statement. Oh. There you go. I can listen to my headphones through my headphones. Wow. Anyway. Well, they also said, though, I remember someone saying that this is the first boss of the raid. This is going to be the easiest boss of this wing, at least. Yeah. So, right. so we will get harder after this. I know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely. Well, they they say so. They claim we have no reason to doubt that yet, or do we? What do you think, Brazil? I don't know. I mean, I'm not wooden potatoes. Oh my god, everyone's gonna hate on me now for mentioning wooden potatoes. You're not but, wooden potatoes. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't doubt that it was not going to be complicated. I think wooden potatoes had that, where he was kind of doubting like that things would have mechanics and that things would be required. But I mean. I hoped that it would. I didn't quite imagine it playing out this way. He uh, but... he was pretty happy after Good. I guess like watching some other stuff on on what he was seeing. So I think a lot of people were, generally speaking. You know, there's some people and some doubters out there, obviously, and you know I think some of that is warranted. You know, ArenaNet doesn't always have the best hundred percent track record with. Uh, providing super difficult content. This is the first raid. Hopefully it goes really I, well. It's... I don't know that I agree with that statement. Okay. I don't think they have a good track record at providing difficult content for people that play the game how they didn't think it was going to be. True. Because for, I think, the majority of players who still don't know how to like make all of their bags and their inventory just one big bag or don't know what repairing armor is, or, like, don't know what Berserkers means. Like, dungeons are very hard for those people, and raids are probably something that they'll never even try. But I don't think they expected, like, people like me or people like maybe us to come in and just shred through the content really fast. I think they were kind of expecting the new player experience. And so for that, that, that reason, 
I think your statement, it, it just, I wouldn't say it the same way, but I understand what you mean. Better, better put, I'm sorry, I was laughing at Rex's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was genuine. Yeah. Shouldn't read stream in the middle of a conversation. Uh, uh, so there were some other problems as well. Some mastery points weren't exactly working on the map properly. A couple of events were bugging out. Uh, the canopy is pretty cool. The two bosses in the canopy. Uh, I got to fight one of them. Uh, there's like, uh, if you go up at nighttime, there's some choppers that take you up there. Or you can climb up there. But there's two like boss events. Supposedly supposed to be more, but there's two like boss events up in the canopy at night. And uh, pretty interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. There's three of them that are like te Diablo style tethered together. That was the only and, ones I tried. Uh, you kill yeah, the when three you, of them, and your yeah. big guy comes out, and yeah, he looks pissed. I, I feel bad because I'm on the stream and saying this, but I, I'm avoiding doing all of the PVE content. You want to save it for later? I want to save it for later. I just um, don't want to do hero points. <laughs> you don't want to do it twice. <laughs> You have to. Yeah. I've definitely hit my <laughs> threshold of beta testing, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, I've been I'm more in, than good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I've not. been I'm in not enough all. betas. You haven't and played. I've played it. enough hours exactly. that uh, I'm ready for live. I'm yeah. good. Sure. I have to keep playing. I, I got just like, I mean, I tested Scrapper and PvP for a minute just to see what the flamethrower build would be like, and it's pretty funny. Yeah, what do you, it's not as powerful you, as I. Th it's not as powerful uh, as I thought it was going to be. Did you play it with Elixir H and? Oh, I did not play. Oh, with sorry, Elixir H. HGH and Elixir. I, yeah, that's what I, I knew. That's what you meant. But no, H I did not play it with HGH. HGH and Elixir B is twenty five might all the time. Yeah, Boom. yeah. But I thought I thought just standing still with sixteen might was good enough. Yeah, <laughs> it is pretty good. It's it's pretty funny. Uh, it's I don't think it does a lot of damage, but that was pretty much all that's I did. It. I logged on to do that, and then I hid some things with Reaper, some golems with Reaper. And then that was all my internet could take on Friday. Oh, on no. Saturday, I woke up and I thought, Raid's probably still offline. I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! today. So I went to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I came back home and Raid's were still offline. And then I got a phone call from my guild leader at 2 in the morning saying, Raids are online! Raids are online! Raids are online! And by the time <laughs> I got to the computer, they weren't. Well, they were offline again. Eight, yeah. 18 minutes, guys. 18 minutes. It took only 18 minutes in this stream for Brazil to mention Yu-Gi-Oh. This is, are you just talking about the Skype? <laughs> he call? did it right before, though. We oh, been, he did? The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Skype call has been going for 34 minutes. I don't know where you've been the whole no, time. No, I did uptime. I did oh, bears. okay. Bleep, bleep. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a, this is a question that um, I'm not, uh, not too sure about, but is the Berserker meta dead? I'm not so sure. No, I, I, damage, I damage is a much bigger role than support and control. I think because support and control are almost like really specialized, and right. damage is like being in the Zerg to Quaddle. Like it's just we need brain dead people just to hit something and take the health off, and you is need the, the full, is a full berserker team meta. There were people getting the boss to twenty percent health with one. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So... What killed them, though? Just time. Not uh, enough no, damage. No health. <laughs> it, it, it just it's... lack of practice with the mechanics as well, probably. I mean... Yeah. It's yeah. the fact... I mean, they had, like, a few hours. They didn't have, like, days. So yeah. I'm sure yeah. they would have gotten it. Like, my, my guild was getting it to, like, less than 50% health pretty consistently after a couple of hours. But they were getting to where they definitely didn't have enough damage. It was like enraging then. Mm -hmm. And they were getting killed by the glowy floor, like moving it around and stuff. Yeah. Was your was your guild team running uh what kind of quickness was it running? Uh I don't know. They didn't have any revenants. They had okay. I don't know if they had any mesmers either. I don't I think they may have had one mesmer. I have a feeling that Every raid group's gonna have to have a revenant uh, chronomancer combo. Yeah. In the future, it's pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. Herald. Mm. Yeah. I will say this. Combo. I will say this with the healers. You don't. It's you know people were saying, 
you know, Drew, you're going to have to take Druid. It's not true at all. There's so many classes that can heal enough for that raid. Yeah, that definitely. You, Druid is great, and I had a lot of fun playing it in raids, but Ventari just does plenty of healing. You know, Elementalists that are blasting Waterfields was doing plenty of healing. I'm sure there's other options out there as well. So it's not like you're confined to taking these, you know, super heal classes or anything like that. There, There's enough that you can spread it around, especially if you're doing the fight properly if you're mitigating that damage and you know later that, phases maybe but that's just this fight in particular though because yeah. true that's true and but the thing about raids is that uh as you go throughout a wing as you go throughout the raid the, each boss is something completely different usually and right. and for all we know boss number two is a heal check <sighs> And that's yeah. great, and, it, and in most games, it's fine. And Guild Wars 2 concerns me a little bit because we don't have any way to... I guess I guess other MMOs don't really have this either, but it feels like you're going to want to change and, and tailor your build for encounters. Yes. Uh, but so as long as you can do it while you're in... Like, you can switch in between. Yeah. yeah it, it wouldn't be... It's center. something I that I wouldn't want. Just bring want. a couple of uh, I don't... armor sets. I don't really want that to be a part of it. But when you but when you need I wouldn't mind, personally. But when you need yeah. ascended armor for these fights, mm. you know, carrying around three sets of ascended armor. Yeah, kind it gets of a pain expensive. In the ass. Yeah. 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 And it takes up space. And yeah, you might forget so... to put it on, or you might put on the wrong piece or something. It's just it's an inconvenience I don't really like, and I hope that's not the goal of legendary armor. I hope the goal of the legendary armor isn't just so you can switch stats and only carry around one set of armor. Well, I think like, that is the going... goal of legendary armor. <laughs> I think that's exactly, exactly. Only, no, 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 only no, no, in part, but... though. Only in part, surely. You know. Yeah, I hope that's not the, the whole purpose of it. I hope that the whole purpose of it is it gives you something cool to look at, and that's it. I hope it's not something that makes raiding easier by minimizing how many inventory slots you have to fill up. Because I'll be pretty pissed off if that's. I don't the case. know. I, kinda... I, th I think though that's a really cool, a cool aspect of the Guild Wars Two engine. Like we have the option of constantly switching, so why not yeah. utilize? Why not change up the entire fight numerous times? Just yeah. like go, go, go. As long as we have the option of in between fights switching armor, switching uh, builds, whatever skills, just for that, amazing. Switching... I, I'm all up for that. Switching skills and stuff isn't a problem, and like I guess maybe even weapons, but like. Switching entire builds and entire sets of armor, that gets a little bit too much, I think. It's kind of it, like... It, it can get much. Uh, maybe, don't get me wrong. Maybe if build templates were a thing, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. But... They're looking into it. It's not well, off the table, you know. And then they then they make... It turns out that the, you know, the Black Lion Bank Express thing is now meta. So you don't have to carry around all your armor sets. Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. It's now mandatory to have one. Don't, They're, uh... <laughs> Do do guilds still have uh, the Doliac for guild bank? Or but you, you kind of don't want to. Can you put your own soulbound stuff into the guild bank or account bound stuff into the guild I bank? I don't know. Yeah, you can. You just can't extract it on another character. Mm. Oh, in so, the guild bank? No, no, no. Sorry. Oh, not oh, the guild bank. Okay. <laughs> right. No, no, no. My bad. Sorry. Okay. I missed that part. Yeah, because they have that Doliac that could. It's it just costs guild stuff instead. Mm. Um, mm. I was going to say, though, that uh, going back to the legendary armor, yeah, Brazil, I agree that it shouldn't only be being able to change between stats. Uh, it should be also really cool to look at. But I think that's Hell a huge yeah. part of it, being able to change between stats. Because <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to be more expensive in the end than, yeah. say, se three sets of armor, uh, ascended armor instead. Uh, but... But I, it's it's a huge convenience, and I think that's going to be convenience. But I don't want it to be a requirement. But it's not a requirement. I, don't think it's not it a requirement. Will, have, I, I know, but have I also space. don't want it to be so convenient to the point where it's like, oh, well, it's kind of like a soft requirement because you're filling up your inventory with so much shit and whatever. Uh, uh, well, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm what sure. about? I mean, to a certain extent. So one one <clears throat> sorry, sorry for interrupting. Uh, one of the one of the things in in other games, like let's let's just take World of Warcraft because it's used the most often. One of the things is that for heroic modes, anyway, you need to get there's a gear check along the way. 
To get into raids, there's a gear check. You need to have a certain amount of gear to start the raid. Once you start killing a couple of bosses, and let's say you defeat it, you need to get to heroic mode. Now there's another gear check, or there's gear checks along the way that say, you just don't have the gear to kill this boss. You don't do enough DPS, you don't have enough stats, you don't have enough toughness, healing power, whatever the case is. I just don't want to see that necessarily in Guild Wars 2. I don't want there to be this check of, you only have one set of Ascended gear, and now you're at boss 2, and he requires a totally different setup, which in theory is nice. So now I need to go craft another set of Ascended, or we need to go take breaks, and some of us have to go and pay to switch our Ascended gear to a different stat set. Which is a thing you could do, not cheap, mm. by the way. But yeah. oh wow, imagine that's, doing that. Yeah. Bosses. That, that, that would have to be <laughs> a big, bosses, a like, big payout. Crazy, right? <laughs> that's that's pretty crazy, right? But I mean, if you don't have ascended armor made, it's not like you can make it overnight unless you have a ton of gold, which yeah. not everybody has access to. But then again, like I know it's tailored around ascended armor uh, stat wise, but how much of a requirement will it be? Like, can you go with just? Exotic nomads gear. If that's if you're requiring a little bit of healing and toughness and whatever, like is that going to be enough, or do, does you... it have to be ascended for every single boss? That's sort of the question. Mm, but it's, and the other question is: Is it full ascended or is it just some ascended? Because it's a lot easier to get trinkets and stuff than it is to get armor, ascended armor. So can you have exotic armor and ascended? Full ascended trinkets. That comes down to, I think, how much better ascended is than exotic. And I think each set, like trinkets, weapon, and armor, is about 5% better than the exotic. So having, I guess, ascended armor over exotic armor, that's a 5%. And then the trinkets is another 5%. So you get to about 15%, I 15 guess. 15 total, right? Yeah. In effectiveness, I would call it, because... Damage isn't necessarily the priority if you're healing. You'll be 15% better at healing. Maybe if healing power scales the same way that, like, power precision does, which it kind of doesn't. So that, but, that was one of the other things, too. On the Druid, I, I, you know, I'm not sure about every class, but there was maybe two or three skills where the, the healing scaled decently. But generally speaking, on staff skills and a number of the heals, the healing scaling was terrible. Uh, which is really kind of sad for me to see. I, I really want healing power to be a stat that players want to take, but the sacrifice just isn't really worth it. Full healing power yeah. is only boosting it by like 2k. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the audio is completely fucked, right? Yeah, the oh, audio yeah, is, is kind of screwed. And Brazil uh, is. Yeah, Brazil is really blurry. blurry. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. getting something <laughs> something must have yeah. been happening with my internet. It's oh. denial of service, guys. No, it's yeah, it's DDoS. I'm, I'm hosting the Skype call, so something's probably wrong on my end. Okay. Um, we can start another Skype yeah. call. I, my internet's actually a bit better now, so maybe I can try and host it. Don't, de okay. don't, don't dox everyone. No, I'll go to a different screen. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then are you going to restart it and call everyone back? Yeah. Okay. You could, you could that might be, it's okay. That might be better. Okay. Alright. Okay, get rid of this call. This call sucks. Okay, I'm ending it. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. Just a moment. Just a brief moment. Oh, we'll be know. right back. Don't worry. I'm already back. Yeah. Uh, you, you're into it's. Wait. You sounded a little bit better. Um, okay. In All right. Way better. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let's hope my crappy internet can survive this. You just said it was better. Yeah, it is better. <laughs> it, 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 it's better now. It's, so why don't I do the call? Because I'm not currently streaming. But we've you already. The... Whatever. <laughs> uh, wait, I have to. Can... If I go, oh, now everyone's in the wrong place. God damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> Fine, you're all being different people now. Inks <laughs> is just yeah. ahead. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're right. all the same person anyway, with the beanies. Uh, and by beanies, that's running. true. You all have to roleplay as each other now, though, for the rest all of right. the time. That's fine.
Okay, Brazil, you are Deroya, so you have to role play as Deroya. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a little blonde weenie, what's up? <laughs> I'm, I am Brazil's oh, bedroom. God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I Alright, uh, let's see if we can make this a little bit better. Oh. What am I? Uh, you are Brazil. Oh, yes! <laughs> I've always been happy, Brazil. Right, let's, um, uh, let's just arrange this. Oh, wait, Ings has ended up as himself. What a weird coincidence. A lucky bastard. Uh, wait, he's this, he's this end. Oh, wow, I'm boots. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Alright, I will not dox anyone. Thank you. Uh, you did boys. There we Thank go. you for protecting I love how you're my crudity. But... <laughs> oh no, for some reason, <laughs> Inks will not actually appear. What the hell? What is going on? Oh, oh, this, uh, what the, god damn it. Am this I still is... Brazil? Oh no. Double drawer. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 gonna, you're gonna have to dock someone, aren't you? Party, party, party. Okay. Da, 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 this, this, is, this is unfortunate, actually. I'm half a face. We have... Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's not gonna dox anyway. <laughs> Brazil. It's the song Brazil. What? Damn oh. it. Alright, well, I think we're good to go. Uh, so Deroya is now Inks. No, Inks is now Deroya. I don't know. I'm World oh, Avengers, everybody. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you handsome bitch. I'm a stupid Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you, yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, it's Roar plays Yu Gi Oh! That's right. <laughs> uh, all right. right, Guardians are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very accurate. <laughs> oh, god. All right, there we go. It can stay like that for the end because this is way funnier. Yeah. Uh, good enough. All right. Uh, where were we? If we can actually remember. <laughs> Inks bad ideas. Oh, I have loads of them. <laughs> Inks, bad ideas. <laughs> not just <laughs> builds, but <laughs> ideas. <laughs> not just, yeah, not just builds. Brazil, please roleplay a chicken and I will follow the stream. <laughs> Done. Do it. Aww. That's the sound chickens make. <laughs> it sounded like a chicken in I a have chickens. You, uh, you would fit in. Yeah. Well, we don't do it for... Uh, for Haven guild for runs. Where you have to make noises. Aww. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boost now hates wooden potatoes and bog yeah. And they, he, look, the guy's true to his word. He did follow. He followed the stream. They have too many followers. Yeah. Thanks, Brazil. I mean, no, you I earned hate, me a follower. I don't hate wooden potatoes. <laughs> I just bring it up a lot. I don't hate them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where were we? Mm. Talking about... I... Oh. What what have you guys done in the beta so far? This beta? basically nothing. I pugged an AC on a revenant, and then I pugged in a raw on a revenant, and almost left the raw like four times because it was horrible. Okay. We had two mesmers, and none of them knew what they were doing, and we were doing path three, so feedback is very important. But uh, that's so all you, I've done. Told, pretty much. You told them they were doing badly. No, These I didn't say anything. No, I, I said, Brazil's like, mana. reflects are very nice here. That's, like, all I said. Oh, the skill feedback. Yeah. Oh, all right. right. Oh. <laughs> I, tested, I tested Scrapper out a little bit in Heart of the Mist, but that was pretty much all I did. Yeah. Because I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not interested in betas that much anymore. I'm just ready to play the game. I'm ready to fucking get all my millions of hero points so I can actually... <laughs> I'm ready to play the game so I can play the game. I'm ready to wait to have fun. I'll use yeah. Colin's word. I'm, I'm so I'm so ready to wait to have fun. Okay, Me too. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna I'm be awesome. Just waiting just around. Not being able to play Reaper is just gonna be so sad for me when this is over. Oh this, boy. Yeah. Are yeah. you not gonna make a necromancer? Well, yeah, but uh, uh, it, it can't play Reaper. It's Nights not a Reaper, is it? Oh, you have to wait to have fun too. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a fucking problem, isn't it, ArenaNet? Waiting to have fun <laughs> sucks. So please don't make it 170 goddamn euro points. What? That's too much. That's make too it much. Zero no, no, no. For 170 for what? 
for you have to for unlock all the one class. Well, that's it's one hundred and seventy-one. It's super easy, Brazil. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like, yes. I remember like, with Canterbury Tales, the lawyer who had his simple fee of everything that you owned. Yeah, yeah, it, it's simple. Sure, I think my webcam <laughs> might be gone too. But yeah, I, I went and got like fifty just yesterday. Yeah, I mean, but like, do that on like fourteen characters. Mm. Why How many do you do? You only then... play a thief. No. What, I mean, I still, but like the rest of them already has all the hero points. So I'm I'm quite sad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't really complain. Uh, that's kind of a good point. Most of my characters have kind of enough, or enough that it won't actually be that I won't need to do that much to to unlock everything already. Unless you want to play Revenant. I mean, yeah. if you have much. all the waypoints sure. on, on all the different maps, it's super easy to just waypoint around and get all the the hero points. Hmm. I mean, on a new character, oh, yeah, okay, it's going to take a while. Yeah, like, my characters have the dungeon waypoints, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. I have, like, 17% gonna... map completion on all of them. Hmm. I'm going to cry a little bit when I have to do it on Revenant, though. I've... I know. I'm going to have to do that, too, unless they make it to where, like, you can unlock the elite specialization before all the other ones are finished. That's my only hope. Because you get 398 hero points for getting to level 80. And, like, there are specializations that I just don't care about. Like, I don't care about Jalus and Ventari on Revenant. I just want Shiro and Invocation and Herald. Mm. I, but that's not the case, is it? Um, didn't we I don't know. Didn't no. we discuss this last time? It turns out that you do need to get all the base ones before you can get the elite one. I, I have, think I'm so pretty sure it's just the circle. Like, I haven't had time to to try and track down that source, but I, rem you know, I could be wrong. And of course, a lot. Wrong. And of course, yeah, there you go. And it it happens all the time, so it's extremely yeah, possible. There you go. Does anyone in chat know? Please educate us. Call us idiots at the same time as well. Yeah. If it makes you it's feel important. better. Yeah, um, call World of Enders an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. Wait. I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I was going to say, though, that I had a lot of fun playing Berserker this weekend so far. Berserker... Nice. With the rifles? Oh, uh, well, the rifle's ridiculous. Why is the rifle... Um, is, yeah, why is it so much higher than the normal rifle burst? It's a bug. They oh, it's a bug. No, is no, it no, actually it's totally intended. Working as intended. Because <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw Goku roaming with that, like one shotting people. He was hitting 10k like three times in a row on one person. It's so yeah, it's really, it was, I, it's gotta be a bug because the it's balanced. It's only one. You, you need 10 adrenaline for it. How does that make any sense? Yeah, it was 30k was, damage. Yeah, the other one's three bars of adrenaline, and it uh, like the base is I think. 14, 1,400 damage, but this is one bar of adrenaline and it's 2,300 damage. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. It's a bug. Okay, there we go. But no, I haven't been doing that. I've been doing a Condi Berserker, which is so... It's it's so good. It's so... And it's really tanky, and mm. it just feels, like, overpowered right now. I don't know. I've been... I was, like, fighting four guys at the same time and doing well. You can and, apply... Basically every condition in the game in one hit, pretty much, right? With all the yeah. the traits, with the CCs and stuff. Pretty oh, yeah. much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's strong. It's very strong. To... And then yeah. I did a weird thing where I used a settler am amulet and uh, did a bunker condi berserker, <laughs> which is actually pretty good. Uh, you could also do it with a cleric's amulet, but with not condi, just normal damage berserker, like change up with a great sword or whatever. And you know how you could break out of stuns and heal yourself. So you headbutt somebody, yeah. stun yourself, uh, yeah. break out of stun, <laughs> and so with a headbutt, um, what's it called? Shake it off. Shake it off combo. You could heal yourself for three thousand, three thousand, uh, twenty. About eight thousand five hundred damage. Okay. And do, do you do you run rousing resilience with that as well? You the is the rousing resilience the one that gives you stability? It's the one that gives you two point three k toughness when you break out of stone. Yeah, no, that's the one that gives you three k health. When oh, you do it. does it? Yeah. What the hell? It gives you one k toughness and three k health with the. Oh, with the 
I am not reading enough. Oh, oh. fail. Fail. But no, you do that. You don't, but you, what you want to do is not take the Berserker trait that gives you stability because then uh, when you break out of the stun, you can get stunned yeah. again and heal yourself more. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's really, it's really good. It's like 8,000 heals off of that. And then I wanted to use um, uh, Defender Runes, but I couldn't because it's beta. And you use Defender Runes with, with, uh, with what's it called? Uh, to the Limit. So that you heal 14k off of that. What are defender runes? It's the one that says when you use a heal skill, you get an Aegis. And when you block yeah. an attack, you heal for, if you have healing power, 5,000 uh, 5, damage. So, so you get Aegis when you use to the limit, and then you heal even more off of getting the to block. The limit. Yeah, exactly. And with no vita vitality... You get down at twenty five percent health. Uh, you have you get that thing that makes it so that defy pain, mm -hmm. right? And so that's how when you know when to use heal the, uh, to the limit because it heals you back exactly to full. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. Wow, yeah, that's pretty great. Yeah, the, the the six thing on Rune of the Defender is really good. I'm looking it's at it now, fast. and it, it the base heal is three thousand nine hundred. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah, really it's really good. pretty good. That is pretty yeah, good. It's on a 30 second cooldown, which is why I use it on to the limit and, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and then you make sure you don't have any other blocks in your build. So that it's a, for sure you get that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that's what I've been having fun doing. Oh. How does, how does Druid feel, Inx? You've been, you were playing a lot of Druid, right? Or at least on yeah, the first I... day. The first day I did 14 hours of Druid, I think. Uh, mostly PvP. Uh, mostly Stronghold, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, no, it works really well. I tried two or three different builds. Uh, you know, conditioned build, straight up Healy build. It works pretty well. Uh, I really How did the condition the... work with Druid? <clears throat> Not too bad. Like, I, I was just using Druid kind of as... Uh, just as like a an off chance heal bot when I got into like the Lord's room and stuff oh. to defend and, and whatever. All right. So I just kind of went more conditioning with the other two aspects of it. Um, <clears throat> but it seemed to work pretty well. Hmm. I had a lot of fun. You can keep the Lord alive against three people without really much problem. Once four or five of them actually get in there, then, you have an issue really doing anything, and you kind of really need stability because they'll interrupt you and stuff. But it worked well, and I ran a daze build where I was just dazing everything. It was daze, 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 daze. Mm. And that was a nice. lot of fun. The infinite daze with the... Is it the three or the four that uh, dazes everyone around you for three seconds? And you can double it to six seconds. Yeah, yeah. Four. Four. Skill four. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it's four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clearly well, overpowered. Fun times, fun times. What's the uh, Chronomancers are pretty good, right? Very we all yeah. agreed. Uh, I've seen a few things on Reddit asking how to beat them in PvP. Does anybody have a clear cut method of taking care of Chronomancers? No, yeah. Just be Dagger Daggerelli. I actually haven't fought any. <laughs> you haven't fought any Chronomancers? No, I haven't been in PvP, I, so I that's the, sort of the... Like, <laughs> yeah. I fought Card last weekend on Daredevil with the Chronomancer, and he couldn't really kill me. Because I was just dodging. Oh, you, Which, you were by, the way, why, by the way, is, is much better this time. The dodging on Daredevil is so good now. Which dodge were you using on the Daredevil? The damage one. Okay. Because that one, it starts is, the like the flip whenever you yeah. start the dodge roll, and it ends whenever the dodge roll finishes. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of weird, though, isn't it? That like you have a very high chance of missing your attack with that thing. Cause... You just have to back up a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, you have to think about positioning a lot more, which is mm -hmm. annoying and cool at the same time. Yeah, I agree. I I felt I don't that like armor stats and raids. Yeah. I was playing around with it a little bit too, uh, and I like, I like, I really like the uh, Daredevil as a really high critical damage dealer. Like, 
just pure berserker or pure marauder or whatever. I like it as that. I didn't like it so much as the Condi one that I thought was going to be amazing. Uh, it was it felt a little bit weak. It felt as weak as my old build. <laughs> like, yeah, you still don't get killed, but you don't really do that much yeah. damage. Um, but but the the idea of doing a like pure berserker or something or pure marauder and doing the dodge damage one with sword dagger would be pretty good and with the staff as well. I think that'll be strong because a huge amount of mitigation with all the dodges you have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hmm. So someone in chat was claiming that they saw someone who said uh, that Reaper was the highest DPS in the game. I don't know if that's accurate. Does anyone it know if that's accurate? It wouldn't surprise me. They do a ton. I don't. I don't. Because I was grave digger. I was hitting 25k grave diggers. Mm. Yeah, and zero they cooldown, of course. Yeah, they do a crap cooldown. ton of damage. We, um, I was playing with uh, like random people in the stream when I was doing Druid, and three times in a row we kept facing the same team where they had uh, two. I was going to call them grave diggers. Uh, they had two uh, reapers. Uh, reapers, jeez, my brain. <laughs> They had two Reapers and one Minion Mancer Necro, and it was freaking annoying as hell to deal with the three of them. Uh, it didn't yeah. hurt that they were very good. And adding a Thief into the mix where he would stealth the two Reapers? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe you were fighting us. <laughs> That's actually not impossible. No, wait, yeah. we, we were on EU, so no. It was also oh, at yeah. like okay. uh, it was also at like 4 in the morning. You were probably yeah. asleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah, that's what we were doing. We, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you actually imbalanced. made a minion mass. You made a minion mancer reaper. Yeah, yeah. You, I've heard a lot about that. I really much. like the, the. It turns out that the the rise shout is actually really good. Uh, huh. But because you can get uh, six six guys, and it's also like a massive heal because they take half the damage that um, you would take while they're attacking. So while they're attacking people. Half of the damage you take is redirected to the uh, sh shambling horrors, I think they're called. Really? Uh, yeah. So it, and I don't know how much health they have. Maybe someone in chat knows, but it is—it's a good amount. So you just become insanely durable uh, when you use it, and also you get loads of toughness from if you have the death magic, and it makes you makes you immune to conditions for the duration because they immediately transfer them away and stuff like that. <laughs> and also, they're incredibly annoying when they blow up and leave all the poison fields everywhere. Uh, yeah. It's Did you matter. play Blood Magic, Death Magic, and Reaper? Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. And and yeah, you can get so much lifesteal sustained with uh, the Reaper as well. If you have the the Shout stealing life, you have the Grave Digger stealing life, and you have all the Blood Magic stuff, you you land the um, was it the Death Spiral or Soul Spiral or something? Yeah. And you just heal for so much, and you, and then you go into Reaper Shroud, and you do the spin move, and you just heal a huge amount from life steal. It's amazing. Yeah, Reapers, yeah. besides dealing a lot of damage, are crazy durable. Yeah, it, it's a little insane. Um, but but yeah, we had a good time doing that with the with a what's it called Venom Share and yeah. Reaper Minion Master. That's been working very well for us. <laughs> is that the uh, is that Pistol Pistol Thief? Dagger, no, dagger, I, was doing, I was doing dagger dagger, yeah. yeah. Pistol Pistol Thief was working really well in PvP this weekend. Mm. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. They, they, they buffed it quite significantly. They buffed it, right? Yeah, well, like yeah 20%. 20 mm. yeah. It but was working pretty well. But that's not Condi damage, though. That's, uh, it that's just hurts. Damage. It just okay. hurts. Yeah, it just hurts. It just okay. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> As a druid, I needed to get that flower wall up super quick because yeah. otherwise, yeah, you were you were a, a little bit boned in the butthole. Hmm. A couple times, a couple times. Yeah, uh, Jebro mm -hmm. does make a good point. We we did have an amazing uh, oh, gyro yeah. hype team. We managed to make the gyros work. Oh, I believe he took no. all of them. Jebro ran full I mean, full Jebro. gyros. Gyro full ran full Jebro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 and uh, and he did okay. I, th I think he was in a lot of one v one fights out somewhere else. We weren't really paying attention, and uh, I think he died though a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I still like the little function gyro. gyro. He, I had function a hard gyro time. Is amazing. Yeah, he beat I, I, DDLEs with gyros. <laughs> I, I had a hard time <laughs> beating. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't play engineer enough to really understand it or to really, you know, love it. But the gyros frustrated the heck out of me. Especially that function gyro. I would send it out to do its job, and then it would just sit there and do nothing for forever. Did you just say the function gyro? Hmm? Which gyro did nothing? The function. The function was really frustrating. Really? I Yeah, the, the gyros in general just aren't good. Oh, the function much. gyro I didn't have any problems with. It did its job. It kept on... Really? Nope, he, would, he was slow. He was super slow. Even with super speed, he wasn't very fast. And... He wouldn't, he would go to like, you could see him trying to plant the guy and they would blink away or they'd go invisible or it was very easy to just avoid the function gyro. Yeah. I mean, I could have, I could have gone over there and killed him faster than. Oh, like you were letting the function gyro do it all by himself. Yeah. Okay. See, that's, that's the difference. You should not do that. You should. What's the point of the function gyro? To have two people stomping the guy at the same time for an automatic stomp, like an actual. For sure, stop. And especially with the stability trait. Mm, yeah. time. Uh, that's four stacks of stability. <laughs> well, you know, on two on you and two on the gyro. Not a waste of time. It's smart. Because there are a lot of ways for people to avoid getting stomped. And if there's two people stomping, it's probably not going to happen. Is the Franker Z bigger than like everything it. else? What? I know that's just off topic. But Wait, it what? looks like Franker Z is bigger than the rest of the emotes. That's like, like I'll do cap. Ch chat, help us test this by putting as many emotes in Franker chat as Z, you can. Put as many Franker Z's and emotes <laughs> as you can. How is the KPM six? I just put one cap. Because, because it counts the amount of cappers in the last ten seconds, so it has to multiply by six to get a, a minute. Oh, what? That what? That's Mr. Destructoid terrible... is pretty big too. You should have checked in the last minute. Interesting. <laughs> but then it takes too. It, then it's too slow to adapt. Wow! Look at these emotes. Mrs. Destructoid <laughs> is bigger. Oh, there's um, another dog. Ralph, Ralph or... Z. What's with the Z's? And there's some guy's dog's name. What the hell? And there's a song too. Uh, so, okay. This is what I call big. chat. That's what I call I guess it's, chat. It's it's the heads that are smaller. Yeah. The heads are just a little bit smaller than the other ones. Yeah. Um, I have that problem too. <laughs> but. So I don't know. Function gyro was kind of a miss for me. Okay. I guess I was using it wrong. But and sometimes it didn't do anything. It would just sit there and it wasn't even trying to kill him. Yeah. Like I would say maybe maybe if you did that, if you sent the function gyro off to go stomp him by yourself, but then at the same time you did like you burnt him down or something, tried to burn burn him at the same time, that might be useful. Well, I was trying to fight. Like if it was a two v one. Oh and yeah, I, and then and I kill one guy. I'm trying to kill him with the function gyro, but I'm still dealing with the other guy. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that was the point, but it never worked that's, out. That, that that's way. one of the points, but just yeah. like a dumb, <laughs> friendly player of yours that doesn't really know how to avoid the interrupts while function stomping. Function gyro is my dumb friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> follows me around and does nothing. Exactly. Are you but sure that useful. you aren't the function gyro's dumb Ooh. friend? I might be. I might be. <laughs> 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 Function gyro, you had one job. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah. I I got to say I think the Function gyro is fantastic. It's, it's neat. It does something neat. Exactly. Something that nothing else does. Yeah, I'm just it's... really disappointed by Hammer. Hammer the damage on Hammer is shit. It's really low. Yeah. It's pretty I, bad. I, I think it I think that's kind of intentional. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be, you know. But it you is, can it, maintain yeah. eight stacks of might with strength runes. I think it was about eight. I think it might have been like six to eight, which is okay, just auto attacking with hammer, but like it doesn't really do any damage. Yeah, why do I'm that? I'm pretty sure you have. I'm pretty sure flamethrower does more. Yeah, sixteen stacks for standing still, or or twenty five if you play yeah. correctly. Yeah. Boots. But you're just all you gotta do is not <laughs> touch anything, and you have sixteen stacks of might. Or you can you can just touch Elixir B and you have twenty five. Elixir B is and, sticky. I don't want to touch it. Okay. But oh, yeah, anyway. it's interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm probably like 
my engineer play, I've gotten very tired of playing engineer super hardcore. So it's probably just going to be like my casual world boss class from now on. I'll probably just run the like Elixir B flamethrower build and just like that's the only thing I'll use engineer for anymore. Were you what what um, gear were you running for that? Berserkers. Berserkers, okay. But With even. Strengths. Oh, so you didn't take advantage of the 10% power of your toughness? No. Okay. I did. To, uh, yeah. you know, but with Scrapper, if you want it, the other side of Scrapper is that if you want to, death can be a thing of the past for you, and you will never die yeah. because of the adaptive armor and all the stability you can get, and just genuinely being really tough. It makes tanky. you tough. Yeah, yeah, it makes you tough. It, it, it took me a while. It really did take me a while to like really get in and start enjoying Scrapper. Like, it took me a while to find a build in PvP that I liked, but. It ended up being like elixir or flamethrower or some kind of combination there. Mm. And when, once I did, it was fun. You're durable. You're hard to kill. You still do a good amount of damage. So, mm. yeah. Mm. Do you play any Scrapper, Daroya? Nope. We, what we, cause, yeah, I, I made one for a second because we thought we could use it in the, the raid, but then the raid went down, and I was just like, meh. <laughs> Were you mainly doing uh, fractals and stuff, on it's, testing it's out stuff? Right we, well, we were, we have been uh, previously, but oh. mostly right now we are. We, we were actually going into this weekend with a lot of plans for just raining, raining and yeah. raining, and so like as soon as it just went went haywire, a lot of guys were just like, "Fuck this shit." Um, oh. yeah. Brazil, pardon my French. You know, you know, and I know uh, the idea of putting Vaseline on your lens makes you kind of <laughs> nicer, but in, the, in this case, you put a little bit too much. I can't look my email or anything right now. Like, I'm pretty sure my internet's just dying again. Yeah. 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 Bible thumb. A robot too. You're the, you're the you're, faceless man. You're Mr. Destructoid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, so, Dero, are you... you did you use Daredevil in Fractals, or is it just not really No, right? actually, um, I was actually put on Warrior uh, yeah. <laughs> for the for the attempts we we went in. Um, uh, yeah, that was that was a that was a blast. I don't really enjoy Warrior. It was all right. Um, I didn't really get to try the Berserker since I was just running the oh. the basic uh, Phalanx um, yeah. to try and try and uh, boost the party. Um, I was alright. I right. didn't just dox anyone because my webcam went away. I don't think so. No, fortunately, it managed to stay vaguely in the right place. Okay, good. You're back. <laughs> yeah, my my internet is. This is. I mean, this is what was happening on Friday. Like, I couldn't even play on Friday, and now I have an alarm going off telling me that it's two p.m. Oh my god. Your alarm's wrong. It's three p.m. Yeah, I know. It's nine. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> It's it's eight. Oh, hell? Hold on a second. Whoa, <laughs> you guys are blowing my mind. What's happening right now? <laughs> uh, I played a little bit. What I didn't get to try, and I really wanted to try, is figure out how to properly use that uh, elite skill from Daredevil. The, the one impact that, strike. Yeah, I I really want to get good at that. That looks like something that's going to be really good in PvP. Mm. Um, anybody try that at all? Most, most, like... Card did. Oh, sorry. Card did? And? He Any... killed people with it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, did he use it, hold on, from the start, instead of stomping, just bunk, 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 or did he start attacking when with they, it? When they were low health, he started using it, and they would just die immediately. Mm. Wow. Uh, I tried to use it in, uh, Stronghold, but it doesn't, it doesn't work as well as I intended. Use it on the Lord. Yeah, I know. I, I, it works, but it, there's kind of a lot of crazy stuff going on in the Lord room when you're trying to do that. So you try and get in, and then something interrupts you, and you can't really get enough stability, and you just it doesn't really work out a lot. It doesn't, yeah. yeah. And that's unfortunate. But then again, I guess it would be ridiculous if it was you know a guaranteed Lord kill as soon as it goes down. Um, because, I mean, uh, I guess a lot of the time it will get finished because people will have stability, but not all the time. When the Lord goes down, it can sometimes recover. Or you can you can revive it and stuff. But, uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted it to be overpowered because I like things that are overpowered, even for a brief, glorious moment. 
Yep. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that, really. So other than that, I guess that's really all there is to do about this weekend. Just go through builds and... Yeah. Did anyone play Dragon Hunter here? No. no. Are you <laughs> Why would you play Dragon Hunter? I heard, I, uh, I heard Dragon Hunter was a lot better. I haven't played it, but... Yeah, it's, not, I, it's not very good to make it. something that terrible better. I actually hard. Want to see a, a compilation of like fights, uh, someone on YouTube, I don't remember, but I was actually really impressed of like how well he was doing with, with the class uh, against a lot of different, different um, other classes. Yeah. I didn't expect him to do that well, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jebro says it's OP in PvP. Is it? Is, yeah, Jebro's it? also wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Jebro. I I ran across a few dragon hunters in PvP and I didn't have that much. Did you? Trouble. Is that what it, you just ran across them? Yeah, I just ran across them and they didn't stop me from running across them. They just <laughs> you think they would with some traps or something, but no, they they just let me pass right by. I don't know. What it, no, no, they it wasn't. I mean, they didn't really do much. I don't know. Maybe I didn't uh, play Jeb. Snow goes ham and Mad Tavish says it's good. I don't know. Dragon hunter is awesome. Shut up, you plebs. <laughs> I'm tempted. Was, yeah. You should just call Jebro and he can defend himself. <laughs> yeah, do it. Where's the Nemesis? Nemesis? Where's <laughs> Nemesis? No town wants know. to know. I don't know. I was promised. Yeah. Part two would be what happened? I want some I more drama. Him, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember everything that happened. He called me on Skype to help with his Moss Man thumbnail because he didn't know how to fade two images into each other. So I was like, okay. You have to make a layer mask and use a gradient and just fade it in. Yeah. And he didn't really get that. And so I helped him in Photoshop for a while. And then I asked him, I was like, when's part two going to be up? And he said, oh, it'll be up in the next three days. I mean, so if I he's working on the thumbnail. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a thumbnail for something else. Oh, okay. And so then I, I asked him, I was like, three days later, I was like, is part two going to be up this week? And he's like, yeah, part two is going to be up this week. And so now it's like Sunday and part two, I don't think, is up yet. No. So I'm wondering. I, I want to see it. I want to see it. Really he's bad. losing steam. He, Maybe he was assassinated fast. by DMT. He's been, I, I know he's been busy with stuff in real life because he works in politics a little bit, which I'm sure is probably. He works in politics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Why did that surprise you? <laughs> <laughs> he, he he does stuff with like politics and TV stations. That's what he does in real life. So, <laughs> yeah, which I, I guess isn't really surprising. <laughs> but uh, wait, just what killed Doesn't Romania. surprise me at all. <laughs> Romania. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Fine. I don't know anything about Romania. I did. <laughs> do, you like, do you like my new haircut? I'm taking this off. This is getting annoying. Oh. oh, yeah. He can't oh, handle it. Serious? I'm inked, that's why. <laughs> I, I actually have heating in my building. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I also took a shave. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. That would be my wife. <laughs> she sounds happy. Huh? Yeah. I think she wants you to shave, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> my wife wants me to shave too yeah but then Brazil took it back to the SPCA yeah because he's a meanie <laughs> cat. I'm glad I don't have that cat anymore that was too much mm. I don't like I, I only like not sleeping whenever I'm having an episode That's then it's fun to not sleep <laughs> but whenever I want to sleep and I can't because there's a fucking cat in my bed going meow 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 Meow! For hours. 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 It's not fun. You're really so. good at the animal noises. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What yeah. did your uh, sugar glider I have think? A, I, have a, I have a musical ear. I can't do the sugar glider. No, no. What the did it say? Something. Oh, no. The cat, when the sugar glider would come out of its cage, the cat would immediately just go and like laser lock and just watch <laughs> it. And I was like, God damn it. Fuck. It knows the there's something else in the room. The cat would be like, come here, sugar glider. Let's be friends. <laughs> yeah, like the cat wouldn't have legs anymore if that happened. I would take it off. But <laughs> I care about the sugar glider a little bit more than about the cat. Only a little bit. I, I used to live uh, more important than others. 
I used to live in another apartment with uh, that had a cat, and it was a house cat, so never left the place. But there were squirrels outside a lot of the time, and the cat would like st- sit on the couch, looking out the window, and make these strange noises, like it was trying to attract the squirrels to it yeah. so that it could attack it. It was just like, <laughs> and he never made this noise any other time except for when it was ta- looking at squirrels. So, uh, what's going on in chat? It's got some keepers. I don't, I don't know. It's a lot of keepers. It's Rex also is, only it's the, the same two people. <laughs> yeah, it's just Rex. It's just Rex and Mad, Mad Tavish. Yes. I think, I think <laughs> you might need new mods. Might be they fun. are. They are the mods. Yeah. I know. You might need new mods. Yeah, I had the un. I don't even remember who I unmodded. In it was Rex. Before. It was Rex. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly why. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, this is productive. Look what are these keepers. I haven't, I haven't streamed on Twitch really any lately. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start streaming on YouTube mm. because I'll actually make money from that. I don't make any oh, money cool. from Twitch. Maybe I'll do and, that too. Yeah, Sorry. you make, yeah. you make money on YouTube streaming, and I'm not gonna. I, make I'm. More sense. I know I could probably eventually get a Twitch partnership, but I'm not gonna wait a year while I can just do it on YouTube and make money. So, yeah. I don't know. Twitch has a lot cooler features, though, which yeah. kind of sucks. And it may be annoying again. Brazil, your your voice is dying again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you could do both. I mean, I do both. This is on YouTube at the same time, yo. Uh, we are five people, correct? Yes. No, no. Well, don't you see like... the, the ghost in the background? <laughs> <laughs> It was just like the Doctor Who episode from last night, the ghosts. I'll give you that, though. That Doctor Who episode was nowhere near as bad as the um, first two. Yeah. I'm going to have to watch... I stopped watching Doctor Who halfway through the last season. Yes. You you made a good decision. You made an excellent decision. (laughs) Should I just skip the rest and go straight to this season? Or do I I need to catch up? I would skip the first two episodes of this one. Yeah, oh. like season season seven is where it started to get shit. I think maybe even before that, honestly. Like I didn't really even like Matt Smith at all. Like that whole mm. time. No. Like he, the he first was the he first was... three seasons were good, and then after that, oh. I just lost interest. He looks like a friend of mine. So you guys are way off. It got it got bad in the eighties. Um, do you guys want to take some questions from the audience? Yeah, yeah, let's do That's... it. Let's do audience questions. Okay. I was expecting us to have so much to talk about because of raids, but then there were no raids. Yeah, exactly. Bible thump. I don't know what you guys are doing. I, I played raids. Is bot rep really? People. Why has the bot died? What? Wait, what? Oh, I thought I fixed this. KPM? I Rex thought I fixed again. this goddamn bot. This bot sucks. I th- Your C++ wasn't visual enough. Well, it's okay. I use C Sharp, so I'm fine. Oh, so you're a casual. Yeah, casual. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, using C++ for something like this would be ridiculously excessive. I mean... How were raids? How were raids? They were great. Okay, you tell me. They were awesome. Yeah. I heard they were fantastic in the time that I was at work, and then when I got home, there were no raids anymore. Hmm. I mean, it was fun being in there, but yeah, it sort of just of... died slowly. Mm. Yeah. So, but I think I think it was intentional. The uh, the auto disconnect on raid wipe. I think that they're trying to channel we, uh, we didn't Metal get Gear that, Solid. Though. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> it's just for more challenging. It's supposed to be as challenging as possible. Exactly. We we lost the man for each time we wipe. <laughs> Like it's we just like one DC'd every time. <laughs> it's the punishment. It's great. I love yeah. that. Yeah, that's challenging group content. It slowly doesn't. It slowly becomes solo, not a group. <laughs> yeah. What's that guy's name in Metal Gear Solid? That uh... snake? No, 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 not. There is a boss that would like read your hard drive on your PS uh, on your PlayStation and say like, you've. I don't know, tell you about what you've been doing on your PlayStation. World of Enders, you've been playing Castle Defenders for 50 hours. Yeah, Dungeon like Defenders? That. Did uh-huh. someone say Dungeon Defenders? No, Castle Defenders is a different game. What the hell was Completely that? Completely different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Castle Crashers. Hmm. Um, Psycho Mantis, there you go. 
Yeah. It's like Psycho Mantis. Mantis. That's a good name. A sad clown. It was pretty good. Um, but yeah. is that the only... No, no, we have more questions. Yeah. Okay. We have, uh, orcs or Claw Mighty Blow Chaos Boys. You should stop listening to questions from Rex. I think. Well, he's talking about Blood Bowl. Do you guys know Blood Bowl? I watched Bogotter play it. it looks it's actually fun. a really good game. No idea. Uh, and the the Don't answer is, is price tag. It, the obvious is it's obviously chaos. Chaos with chaos with a fully built team is ridiculously overpowered. Well, I mean, I don't really know anything. I, I'm not actually that good at Blood Bowl, but I mean, it, with a, a fully built chaos team, everything just dies because you, it's you can actually kill your opponent's players. It's like American football Warhammer, but you can kill people. Cool. Sounds uh, great. Yeah. Do you think two healers in a raid might be very viable for some not very experienced groups? I hope not. I mean, I, I think you're going to end up. Yeah, you're ending up going to end up not having enough damage because even now people are struggling to get enough damage to kill it. It'll so, be viable to keep them alive, but not actually beat the raid, probably. Like, if you're just looking for burst heal, like, you can easily bring water fields. Like, it's, mm. it's, you, you don't really need a dedicated healer in that way. If that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for the, the slow, uh, heal, constant heal, you, you might be talking about something else, but you, you always have that option of water fields. It's really easy, very accessible, and, uh, tunes that already have really high DPS. So, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, how long until staff Ellie solos raids? Never. No, no. Not gonna happen. No. Not There's even. There's no Yu-Gi-Oh today. No Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> today. The time has passed for that to be a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that there will never be a class you can solo in the game raids. that could solo a raid yeah. ever. Unless there's a, a kind of game-breaking thing, do you guys remember when the the Mesmer falling thing just killed everything yeah. instantly? <laughs> Unless it turns out there's something like that with Revenant. Maybe, I, I don't know, if you if you like, eat a Dorito in real life and use a Revenant Sword 3, it kills stuff instantly. I, I, I don't know. Or like, reflect insta-kill Yeah. Bolts. But uh, uh, with non-exploits, non it's not, yeah. gonna, not gonna happen. Which elite spec did you find most overpowered in structured PvP? This weekend? <sighs> Chronomancer? I, I, yeah, I'd probably say Chronomancer or Reaper. Well, I don't think Reaper's overpowered, oh, yeah. actually. I think Reaper's just so slow. If, if I you... don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty pa uh, powerful. It's not that slow. You can play yeah, around it, Powerful though. is something else than yeah. overpowered. I don't right? think it's overpowered. I you think that you can it. play around If you just Reaper. leave away, if you get away from them, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, a Chronomancer would be the Reaper, probably. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Because the Reaper would just never be able to catch up, I don't think. Or and, use the skills against yeah. the answer. If you're, getting, if you're fighting up close with a Reaper, I don't think there's much that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, really. Or anything, maybe. I was able to kill Dagger Dagger Ellie's pretty easily with, with Reaper. So, mm -hmm. I mean, even though it's not as strong as it used to be, it's not that much worse. I'd, yeah. So I'd be, probably say Chronomancer. What do you guys think? Chronomancer. I, I can't really speak for PvP. Over oh, play. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> Overpowered, I'd say Chronomancer. Powerful is Reaper, and Berserker was a lot of fun. Mm, Berserker felt yeah, that Berserker's was very really good. Um... <clears throat> Other than that, what else we got? Scrapper didn't feel that powerful. Uh, Dragon Hunter, according to Jebro. Je Jebro <laughs> says Dragon Hunter Did is he actually the be all that? and end all. You know, <laughs> yeah, Jebro said, said it was, was OP. Oh, okay. He said that a while ago, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Scrapper is crazy OP in PvP. Uh, I'm not. Really? I'm, I'm not sure people understand sure what OP that. means. <laughs> yeah. <No>. Yeah. <laughs> Overpower means there's something wrong, you guys. It's chat. like. <laughs> What, something this can be po powerful. It's yeah, that's yeah, all good. This but... isn't League of Legends where Kogma ults into random bushes kill people. So, so they're saying it could tank. Scrapper could tank some people. Yeah, sure. You can make it really durable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was super durable, but I wouldn't say it was overpowered. Yeah, like I didn't. Yeah, it's not 
really good at killing people. And it can stop things very, very well, but you'd have to actually down them first. Mm. Is the thing. Uh, let's see. There's lots of what, me memes being spammed. I need to try and find the questions. Uh, what What is your guys' opinion on Tempest, by the way? Like, now. Because all, all I've hear, heard... Sorry. Oh, <laughs> the, the English speak right here. <laughs> all I've heard is that Tempest is alright. It's just super boring. Like, it's I can just, see that. That's it. I can see that. Um, I didn't get to play... I didn't play Tempest yet, but I've played against Tempest, uh, a bunch of them. They seem pretty good at being tanks at the moment they they're they're pretty sustaining pretty solid um i didn't feel endangered by any of them really um and it did look like they were just sort of standing still doing boring stuff mm. it's not nearly as active as um conventional elementalist play i don't think and from what i've seen there's no real reason to take it in pve right now as far as i'm aware because yeah. it's just all the other stuff, you kind of need it. Well, the keys is probably going to have some math something that says it's the <laughs> highest DPS. Oh, God damn it. But Gotta get Shrek now. Who gives Stand a shit? Or yeah. something. Uh, um, I would say, though, I we my, a Teapot had a good idea of using a, our Aura Tempest in our little um, build thing. The thing is, though, and this is why, if the specialization system was like it was before, you know, when you could have, you could pick as many lines as you want, I think Tempest would be insane. But because right now, if all the aura traits, you've got them in Earth, you have them in Air, you have them in Water, and then you have Tempest as well. And you, you Arcane is basically mandatory, let's be, let's be serious here. So there's five lines that have that you kind of want stuff from, but you can only pick three. So if you, if you want to do an aura share build, you have to have Tempest and Water. You've only got one to choose from now. Yeah. Right. So you can't have all the uh, aura, sh aura share stuff. And I think so what someone said, I saw someone suggest that they should make a Grandmaster Tempest trait that gives, it kind of merges all the aura stuff into one. So the protection and the fury and the swiftness mm. and stuff like that. I think that, I don't know, that seems like an interesting thing. Maybe. But right now it's just, um, you have to kind of screw yourself in order to make a really good aura build, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but that's sort of how it is with every good build, that you kind of have to make someone have a choice, you know? Mm. Yeah. I mean, giving up soul reaping um, when I was playing Reaper is just, ah, you don't have vital yeah. persistence, you don't have... Exactly. You don't have all the other the, the other goodies. But it, it's, it doesn't actually feel that bad. It, it's... I thought it was mm -hmm. going to be really bad, but actually, you can still survive pretty decently and get a good amount of life force, even though it's not as good. It could Just be like better. with Warrior, you taking Berserker means you have to get rid of maybe Discipline, which is really tough because Discipline's great. Um, but you know, you have to give up stuff to get stuff. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. opportunity cost. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it just seems like the opportunity cost for for the tempest is is really high, and you yeah you you need um, I guess some of the auras actually do automatically share themselves, um with with the reaper. You give everyone frost aura with the shouts. You give everyone fire aura as well, uh, but to to get the actual uh, aura share trait, you do need water. Yeah. So what would you? So you get water and uh, tempest, and then fire is with you get fire um, auras by switching to fire, but also I think by using uh, conjure weapons. That is actually a really good point, though. I, I I didn't really consider that. You could use you could generate your auras using the shouts, and then take an extra line to enhance them. Also, uh, a long long time ago, uh, when potatoes made a video showing that you could get every type of aura by doing combos uh, if you have, I think it was dagger focus or dagger da dagger focus. So how do you, you do get, that? Too. How do you get chaos and light? Oh, well, you don't get chaos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chaos, chaos isn't a... Chaos yeah. isn't a... That's, but chaos, chaos isn't armor. Part, it's chaos yeah, it's armor. Ca it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the exact same mechanic, though. But it's not an aura. You wouldn't share it with aura sharing. Well, I don't know, actually. Is it? I don't think you would. Maybe not. 
Uh, you, you'd have to leap through an ethereal field, right? To yeah, get that? let's take a chaos armor, but I don't yeah. think you would. I don't Does think you would share it. Necromancers have ethereal fields. There you go. Yeah. But no, for light field, you would do. Um, you would have the the runes, the 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 aura runes. Mm, oh, radiance. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if only you could use those in PvP, but you can't. Maybe they'll add them. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about Tempest for a bit more. Uh, I think it's acceptable, but it's it's one of my, you know, less favorite elite specializations. Yeah. What does anyone think about Tempest? Has anyone played I Tempest? I don't really care about I have about no interest in it. Yeah. No interest? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like... one class I don't have to fucking get 170 <laughs> skill points on. <laughs> Exactly. So well, thank you, for reading that. Oh, the, yeah, chaos. Yeah, chaos armor is a is an aura. It's I don't trust that guy. Chat is chat confirmed it. Twitch chat is always right. Studio R. Yeah, I've never seen this guy before in my life. I've seen this guy before. <laughs> he looks legit to me. I don't know. He doesn't have a little mod symbol next to his name. Tempest does you know not tempt legit. me. Oh. <laughs> Resident this is sleeper. Legit. What's the oh Atlanta, wait? Let me go and oh, find yeah. mine. Oh. oh, you got one. We'll yeah. Make it rain. Just... Oh, you're supposed to let me know where to send it, but I think mine's still in the trunk of my car. Uh, I can't remember well, where I left it. No respect. Yeah. No respect. My car is in the garage because it doesn't work. Brazil and Inks love child. I it says I'm Teapot's favorite Ellie Giggle. <laughs> Do okay. we have any more questions? What What's your favorite profession? Oh, I I don't know, man. I'm I'm confused right now. I don't know. Yeah, I, it yeah. is. It's I tough. like. I think Reaper is still mine. I'd be tempted to say Reaper as well. It's just so much fun. It's Revenant just so has much been fun. fun Revenant. I, yeah. yeah. I don't like the sword oh. auto attack. Revenant I don't, is. I don't like the second. Yeah. I don't like the second hit on the sword auto attack at all. No. What? No. It just sends out a beam that comes back. Yeah. Why, I don't why like don't you that. like it? Because whenever you're trying to cleave, it doesn't cleave at all. It doesn't cleave for shit. Oh, okay. And it's very, very hard to untargeted cleave things with Revenant Sword. Which, untargeted cleaving is like my favorite mechanic. So, I think just for the sake of mechanics, Reaper is my favorite. Hmm. I think thematically I like Revenant. Maybe I like Revenant the most. I still like Reaper a lot thematically. Hmm. But Reaper may Reaper is probably my favorite. Hmm. All right. Actually, I... I'm just kidding. It's Dragon Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I... you, what's your favorite boots? I don't know. It's tough. I've been having a lot of fun with the Warrior with Berserker, but Chronomancer is just so good. Mm. And it is. I, I love the... It's so good, and I just also love the theme of it and the idea of it. So I'd have to say Chronomancer. Even mm. though... Yeah, it's just... It's so interesting the way it works. Hmm. Inks, Herald or Reaper are probably hmm. my number one spot somewhere, somewhere in there. Uh, I really did have a lot of fun with Druid, so it's it's up in the top three somewhere. But uh, Reaper and Herald are like just had the most fun with them. I think. Hmm. What about you, Doria? I uh, totally. I've just played Revenant for the rest of the time. I love it. I yeah. even went and crap like whenever the rates went down, I just I played Revenant for a little bit, and then I was like, yeah, okay, I'm crafting the rest of these ascended <laughs> armor sets. So I have a couple now in my bank, just waiting. Ooh. I'm all I'm all set. Is this for, is, for anything that can happen? Are you forsaking Thief? Is Thief done? Maybe. It is not certain yet, but I I have yet to be fully convinced on the uh, the power and the usefulness of the actual uh, um, Daredevil. Daredevil, that was the word, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Daredevil... Wow. Daredevil seems really gimmicky, yeah. I think. And it's ex not, yes. Completely not gimmicky. really in a good way. It's just like... It's like skill link cloisters and Pokemon. Like, they're really gimmicky. You can you can sleep a whole team with a fucking shell smash skill link cloister. <laughs> but, like... Well, I just... It's what? not gonna happen. Really. <laughs> the thing about it, though, Daredevil think, isn't really gonna happen. I'll play I think. It, I think. Yeah. I think maybe we're thinking about it the wrong way, though, Daredevil. Because hmm. right now, probably everybody's just trying to make a Daredevil build where it's all about dodging. 
it's all Definitely. focusing on dodging. Yeah. But when you think about it, Daredevil is a fan, it's a super strong addition to any other build. Being oh, able to dodge it's three times bad, necessarily, it's just not completely sold. I'm not sold on it completely. Dude. Yeah, no, no, but what I'm saying is that instead of making a Daredevil build, which may or may not be good, it's probably very gimmicky, not that great, but if you have your other build that you love using, maybe a backstab build, maybe a pistol build, and then put in a Daredevil at the end as your third trait line where you get an extra dodge, uh, your dodges do something interesting now, uh, I think it, I think it's very strong. I mean, I'll cry a little bit if it, it's, if it's going to be the... the the best the best way to run a a daredevil will be with staff and pistol pistol. I'll I'll shed a tear. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I think why there's some potential. Saying, why are people saying that thief is dead for raids? It's uh, not necessarily. It it, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? what's going on? <laughs> that picture. Is extreme. Oh no! This is this is oh. the yeah. This is oh, my yeah. I know which God. one this. Is. What is I know this? which one this is. Hold yeah. on, I have one. <laughs> I have to save this. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He's, yeah. Made, he's made loads of these, by the way. He's made more. Let me more link, of... let me link the, the picture I have of Nemesis that I made. That's a good one. I, I'll, I'll try and... Sh hang on, I'll try and show it on stream. If I can. I'll download it. I'll answer some more questions while I get the image. As I was saying, like it, it, it's not necessarily... Uh, right now... Daredevil hasn't seen much action in uh, the raid, but that's probably because not a lot of people have gotten in. We haven't really seen the potential of it, and we don't know what's in between the bosses, whatever. It's not necessarily dead, is what I'm trying to say. It's just but like, not our right, first go-to class right now. Regular, regular old thieves are still fine for damage, right? Oh, yeah. So... Maybe, I'm misunderstanding. Yeah. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the, the trolliness. Of what people are trying to say. Yeah, it's probably more that. There we go. That's that image on the stream. That'll take a while to appear. But I got it. I That's put my nemesis picture in chat to... I hope someone saw it and laughed at it. <laughs> Wait, which one is it? It's good. It's, uh, it's right the between eyes. Rex's pictures, oh, yeah. That's how I imagined his face was when the eyes <laughs> came in. That's a great picture. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's enough of that image. That image is just genuinely horrifying, honestly. Oh, wow. There's one where you're a girl. <laughs> yeah, he's Aurora Peachy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he made that one as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It's a good image. A good image. <laughs> it's, uh... It is creepy. It's it so yeah. creepy. Oh, well, no, we need to find some more questions. Or we could play a match. I guess we could. I don't I, want to play PvP today. Oh, I can't come on. Really, on this no. uh, uh, laptop? <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, um, so, yeah. Oh! Phone's oh. ringing. Oh. Will you, go, will you go full YOLO on the first raid and just go full Berserkers on first try? <laughs> I mean. It's, it's the president. He, yeah. he already tried that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't try that, but I know people that tried it, and it kind of works. Like, they just took it's Warriors gonna, and Revenants with Berserkers on It kind of strikes me that it's going to be necessary to go full Berserkers, because otherwise you're not going to have enough damage to, yeah, but to, it's to the kill idea, it. Yeah, right? but it's the idea that not everyone is playing maximum DPS stuff. Like, that's the, the Berserker meta is everyone just negates game mechanics because they do so much damage. Be and like every build is specialized for doing damage, and that's that's all that matters. And I think that raids are a little bit different because there are little balls that come to damage you, and you have to knock them back. And there are boons you have to remove so you can kill things and stuff. So I don't, I don't think the berserker meta exists for raids. For the rest of the game, absolutely. Unless right. we see fractal fifty to a hundred, fifty one to a hundred get changed in some like massive degree where we have to actually play clerics guardians now i don't know but the, there's also correct i mean I, I might be slightly wrong on this but there's some phases where the boss is more uh susceptible to conditions as well so yeah 
just running berserkers with might to give yourself a little bit of condition is not going to be enough. Uh, damage, the, the yeah. damage roll is not only filled by berserkers. Condition yeah, exactly. damage. Is There's some very strong uh, sinister builds even now. Yeah, uh, right. And you're going to need to run them eventually because I mean, in, in this book, it's the the red guy who needs conditions. Yeah, I mean, we were seeing some I mean, really amazing ticks on the revenant sinister gear, actually. Yeah, on some of those guys, yeah. Mm. Well, the cool thing about Revenant is that it mainly applies torment, and these bosses are constantly moving. They go, they they move everywhere. So it's really great that they're not just standing still and you're just killing it. Mm -hmm. It's like torment is actually a really good condition now. How often do they attack? Uh, not often. Not very like, often. Like so the confusion's not so them good. just hitting just, is they, not. They come over and they go like that, okay. and they go to someone else and they go. And they go to someone else, and they go like that. And it they it just all hit. depends if, like, uh, the other skills or the, all the other effects, if they're counted as skills by that mob. Yeah. Uh, and right. I don't know that. I don't know. Yeah. But that's why they made Confusion uh, do damage over time as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I really like that, but that I, mm -hmm. I can see why they did it. Um, I, I, they're reluctant to separate stuff from PvE and PvP, which is, I mean... They, did they, so they unseparated, didn't? Did they unseparate uh, confusion from PvP yeah. and PvE? Yeah, it's the same now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I like that because <sighs> things attack so slowly in PvE. Yeah, but it's because they want to make it. Um, that's they. They want to make it not confusing for people who. Well, the whole yeah. point of confusion, though. Yeah, you you. I mean, some people obviously <laughs> didn't understand the the difference. I mean, I don't really have a problem with either. I mean, it is what it is. Would I prefer it if it was um, separate? Yeah, sure, but that's not the direction they want to take it. They want to have everything unified across yeah. all the gamers, and that's, that's that's fine. I don't I don't see that as a big deal. Is it fine though? Because they are two different games in some ways. Yeah, but that's just how they want to go from a design perspective. Okay, and that's at the end of the day, that is pretty subjective. I mean, it's not ideal for everyone, but it it from However, they've determined it. I guess it is the best from, you know, the majority are satisfied by that. But doesn't that sort of limit? Ah, uh, well, whatever. Who cares? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have another question. It looks like we have quite a lot. They've all been piling up. We've been talking about dank memes instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you think dedicated tanks will be needed to raid? I doubt it. No, you, you can't. I mean, anymore. you you can't make a dedicated tank like. There's only so much taunt in the game, and it only lasts so long. It's not like there's no... And there are break bars that don't like negate that from happening. Yeah. yeah. And there's no uh, like <clears throat> actual uh, taunt that makes you the target for an extended period of time. It's not, it's not that it'll switch to you and then stay there. So, yeah, it's not very good. So I'll, basically, it's just everybody's got to make sure they don't get killed in one way or another mm. Dante has a new video up I have to check this out no you really don't Are you, get, you, you should mean... not see it oh wait it. no not no, Athene I oh I quite like Athene no is what you like a really a funny guy what are you talking about I don't know <laughs> are we getting Dante. trolled by snow he could be trolling us no it's it's real oh my god he's trying to role play again is he? <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm going to link this should, on stream. Chat. Should we play it on stream? We can play no, it. We should. No. We should play it on stream. No, we should. I'll no. link it and you can play it on stream. Okay. We really should not. Let's it's see. It's fucking <laughs> this let's, is terrible. Let's play it on stream. Hang on. Uh, I think Doror is probably right here. <laughs> let's Wonder give him attention. Does. Just like Justin Bieber. Yeah. Let's just make it as bad as possible. Uh, uh he already did that himself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, that doesn't actually. Oh, my bot actually worked. Feels good, man. Uh, does this play? Yeah. Oh, my I, uh, saw your video. I oh. Saw your wait, oh no. my god. god. Seriously? Why is he and, doing this? Uh, yep. What? She likes your channel as well. Hi, Dante. Oh my god. That is cringy. Well, she's actually a very famous porch star. Mia Ross. You know, the Drunken Fury videos, idiot. She came from the US heartless. to Belgium. Says the and comments. I said, like, I'm gonna do some personal videos, some shout outs. <laughs> <Boots> <laughs> Thanks a lot for backing me up. You don't have every day 
a four star shopping option. <laughs> Either way, thanks a lot. I'll keep on owning. And see ya in the. Oh, games. Yeah. Oof. Games! Oh. Yeah! Why? <sighs> Is he advertising another channel? What the hell? Why did he do the, the, that? The top, one of the top rated comments says, WTF is this crap, go find a job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? And then there's someone saying, understand. why did I subscribe to this channel? <laughs> why did he do that? Why did he make that video? Did you see no the idea. one where he was trying to be Benedict Cumberbatch? Guys, no, guys, I don't. We probably shouldn't start more drama with all other YouTubers here. No, we should. We're already <laughs> in deep shit, right? Why? Why are we? Who are we? Who are we? Do? Yeah, who are we? I'm the nicest guy in the world. People. Nobody does. But I don't like... give a shit. Yeah. There are Except people that tell me that like I mean, there are people that tell me every day like you hate these people. I just don't care. Like whatever, it's fine. It's the internet. Who gives a shit? So who's Don Tan again? Yeah. Exactly. Why did that's, he... that's that's my thought too. I don't no, understand why he did that. Serious. Dantane Dantane was a guy that made Guild Wars. He started out a long time ago making other videos and he used to have his face in them but people made fun of him. And so then he started a vlog channel with his face in it and people still make fun of him there for it. But he made Guild Wars 2 videos and he had a machinima partnership because he can't read contracts. Yeah, and then otherwise. He uh, got screwed over by them, Brazil. which is what happens. Machinima screws people over. And then he started a Patreon. And then after he started the Patreon, he just quit making videos. So he was getting like $600 a month and he wasn't doing anything. Uh -huh. Holy so, Speaking of Patreon, go ahead and support Brazil on Patreon. Yeah. Or Inks. Go ahead. <laughs> Or yeah, Mighty Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. he has one too. <clears throat> if you, if you really want to sink Twitch. low, you can support me as well. Dante is cool, but the, it's appended with a kappa. Yeah. Here's a question. What do you think will be the most useful offhand uh, for Cirque Revenant? <laughs> <laughs> well, go to Roy. And, and is it good to make ascendant ones? I, I, I mean, personally like pers okay. Sword. Sword? I think uh, Axe is better, but I like, I'm getting a Skype message. Now. I'm actually using both um, on on either hand. Um, I'm loving both of them. I'm loving the synergy because uh, Sword offers up uh, both the mobility, but also the block. But the um, the Axe really has that. Um, it, it it makes it a lot easier to like channel your your or not channel what's it called to to gather your foes and like keep them in place and it really helps out. I I love the combo the synergy of of uh, both weapons offhand. I made shield as well, but I honestly have not even tested it. I like I've been running the remnant the entire week, but I I did not even equip it. I, I just did not see the use for it to be honest. I have it though. I just an ascended version of it, just waiting. <laughs> but yeah, you're ready. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready completely. Mm. Do, Do raids you... have mobs? Wait, what? Uh, they're legendary. They're not immune. I'm pretty sure we we sell on the trailer. Actually, there are ghosts in uh in the tunnel. Um, we don't know if they're friendly, but I would imagine that they are not friendly. Uh, the Probably. whole running section, you you uh, you guys can watch right. the trailer. Yeah, the whole ru running section where you jump off, and I think there's a little bit of uh, uh, skydiving, and uh, yeah. There's um, so people seem to have forgotten this, or maybe they just never knew it. But the first raid wing has not; it just doesn't have just three bosses, but it's three bosses and some kind of dynamic encounter. So. We kind of assume that the dynamic encounter is these ghosts or whatever they are that are chasing you down this hallway. What, how that's involved exactly, I have no idea. But well, did you guys read the lore? A question because the lore, the lore. What? Someone the lore. posted all of the like raid conversations like with the NPCs oh. on Reddit. Oh, did they? oh yeah, yeah. And there's I supposedly actually... like mysterious screaming and chanting, so there are probably oh ghosts yeah. going. I go. spooky. Yeah. Yeah. There's exactly. there's this I know this guy who has a YouTube channel who put up the uh the idle dialogue or the dialogue from the raid guy. Is it Dante? You? Is it Dante? Just we just heard the dialogue. <laughs> we just heard it. Wow. <laughs> hmm. But uh 
yeah, it's cool. Cool. The, the story of the raid actually seems very, I don't know, detailed. Yep. Is what I'm. Is the word I'm going to use? There's also um, what we have now is island. history. Mm. There's a little island in the raid full of pocket raptors. So, if you need to stack up your bloodlust or whatever, if, if you're running that for some reason, <laughs> yeah, if you're dumb. That... <laughs> I just thought it was be there for a reason. There. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was interesting that, that they added that there, so you could stack that up before you fight the final boss, right? Yeah. Stack your healing power. Yeah, there they, you go. they go need life. to. Um, they need to provide uh, material for Daroya's <laughs> mind spike. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get crit. Speaking but of which, you should crit. check out Droyer's Mind Spike in Twitch chat. Wait, oh, what? what? Someone just leaked a picture of you, and it's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Wait, did he do it live? Yeah, he did. He did. Wow. Those muscles. Fresh memes. I'm, gonna Man. To... I'm saving this. This is excellent. <laughs> this is Let's, is I'm going to try and get this on stream. Hang on. This is, is that lovely. the same shirt you're currently wearing? No. This is uh, purple. All of your purple shirts flowers. look exactly the same. I just I wear the same shit. Like, yeah. Uh, like, I have, I have, I have like, literally, I think I have four, four shirts? Maybe, maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. This is three in Europe. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I have, three, I have, like, I have like, three everywhere. Three. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 really. This is, in Germany, they go one, two, three. And in the United States, they go one, two, three. In Canada, yeah. they go one, two, three. Do they really? No, they don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Canada, know. I'm not so. really cultured. Boots is making shit up. <laughs> but that's, that's interesting to think about. The people might count that way somewhere. Mm -hmm. mm. One, uh, two, three. We got some more questions. <laughs> no. How, did, have we already given a general opinion of Druid? What we think of Druid? Uh, I I was okay. like really excited, way, but I lost interest in it pretty fast. For the people who weren't here from the beginning, uh, can we just point out, like Karuna, for example, that we are switched around and yeah. World of Enders is because yeah, that's not. I'm me. World of Enders. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jedi. What you talking about? <laughs> Oh wait, I think I just died in the game. God damn it. <laughs> I, the thing is, I tried to find um, somewhere better for the background, but literally everywhere, eventually you just die. I like, look, uh, I thought I was safe. I like the jungle a lot. Was dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah, that I smoke don't... scale is going to wreck, wreck you. Yeah, I don't it, think, yeah. uh, you know, I, I don't yeah. think that if you're trying to play Druid as like this pure healer, that's all you're going to do, you're doing it wrong. But uh, yeah, I think Druid has is going to have a place as one of the possible healers in a raid. Not the only one, obviously. There's lots of choices there, but... Something I oversaw while people were twi tweeting about it was that Druid's healing abilities seem to be scaling not so... Like, scale don't scale very well. They're yeah, very high terrible. base, but don't scale very, mm -hmm. very well. So, yeah, if you're going to run Druid stuff, you probably don't need very high healing power at all. You could just. But that's kind well, of the point, though, isn't it? <laughs> but that would be optimal if you can just like sustain yeah. yourself and your party, and still do damage on yeah. your other weapon set, whatever. Like mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Druid over Ventari. They're kind of different. They're different. Yeah. It's Very ve different. Ventari is a sustain, a kind of sustained healing, and Druid is is pretty bursty. Mm -hmm. Have people um, been doing the whole? tablet back and forth over people's thing with Fintari? You have to constantly. Yeah. If you yeah. want to actually utilize to, it. To get anything done you have to do it's that. It's super fast but it's super clunky and you always have to press your heal yeah. skill to click click. Mm. Yeah. It's, yeah. You, I'm, you, I'm not a big fan of how good. tablet handles. Mm. Yeah. And tablet skills. Mm. Yeah, tablet skills. Tablet <laughs> mastery. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do you think any classes will be excluded from raids? Hint, no. thieves. Hint. No. What's the no. hatred on thieves in this? I think elementals I really don't will think... be for a while. You think yeah. elementals will be really? excluded? Yeah. Let me finish coughing real fast, and I'll explain. Okay. Too squishy, time. or or what? Yeah, that is partially it. But when you think back about like the dungeon meta, 
elementalists really weren't like a thing for like probably two years, maybe a little bit less than that. Definitely a year. And uh, it's not necessarily because people didn't know because people started to figure out like, oh, lightning hammer does a lot of damage or, oh, staff does a lot of damage or whatever. And part of it was just that people thought that warrior did the most damage and that everyone else was wrong that thought otherwise. But elementalists like lava font on bosses that move around constantly isn't like the biggest mm. thing. And like neither is meteor shower and ice bow got nerfed a little bit. So an elementalist is probably a little bit harder to play than other classes. Like if you're playing scepter dagger or something uh, or just uh, anything other than staff, it's probably a little bit harder to play and something like a warrior where you can just attack with an axe or something like just auto attack with an axe. What about lightning hammer? Or I mean, yeah, but they run out and the fights are quite a bit longer and other people are probably going to pick it up. It's elementalist is very uncertain and I don't think people are going to be playing elementalist a lot and engineers for that matter uh, until they're more comfortable with raids until people have like really started figuring it out. And until there are good strategies, I think there's going to be a lot of the more basic classes like Revenant, Warrior, Reaper, stuff like that for the most part for now. Uh, and you'll probably see Guardians and stuff, but mm. uh, the heavy classes, the classes that are easier to play are probably going to take a priority while people are still figuring the raids out. I think, though, Engineers will have, might have a, a bigger or an easier spot than perhaps yeah elementals as you're putting it like they're they're good backline uh damage and they have like quite a quite good uh help for yeah. the group so i mean mm. all the condies yeah definitely uh also useful i don't know i'm not scrapping the scrapper just yet but <laughs> good one nice nice well played flushing the crapper Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, are there, there are, uh, all we have is uh, why is Frank Z superior to every other meme? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a dog. I don't think Frank Z is the best. It is superior yeah, because it is larger. I think I'm the best meme, honestly. What br the the Nike Brazil? That the, yeah. the emote. Whenever you get partnered, I have to have my face on one of yours too. But I only get two at the start. That would be half of my emotes. Perfect. Just <laughs> Can I have one too? I mean... <laughs> we, 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 one of them could be all of us. How? Like, one, yeah, a quarter one of each. Fourth. Yeah. Or a, or a fifth. Brazil and Inks love child. Yeah. You could make Nemesis the other one. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do that really distorted picture of you. <laughs> wow. That and just spell it wrong. Oh, look, it's Modramoth. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's probably going to be quite entertaining. Because... Are you doing a wrestling lock, Boots? Or trying yeah. to? This is, I, the strongest, this is the strongest hand lock in wrestling. And this, this one is, is the very... strongest. No, this is, this is a very weak lock. <laughs> this is the best one. This is the most powerful one. I wrestled for four years. I, I, I don't talk wrestling about wrestling bears. locks. I talk about real war locks. Yeah, uh, and you get your fingers cut off. Yeah, with guns. Like, if someone takes a sword and chops this, like, it's going to hurt, but you're not going to lose your grip unless you're a, a, wee, a weenie. If like, a sword chops at your hands? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're it's not like killing the raid grip. boss with the range time. You're gonna literally oh lose your grips. No, you're not. You can still hold this if you get chopped at or shot at. Like somebody could shoot a hole through this, like this right here. So just in case the stream can see it, someone could literally shoot a hole right through the middle of this. You can still hold on. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But but I mean, suck there it up. Holes in between here, you can't. Yeah, there you like, go. If yeah, I do this, and when someone applies right any pressure, it and then kill me because it's in front of my face. I don't know no, this is here. terrible. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Inks can't even do it. That's how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So guild skills. Yeah. 
I think we we have much more to talk we've, about. We've exhausted exactly. everything. Yeah. yeah. I want to go eat lunch now. 19 yeah. days, guys. Only 19 days. Only 19, 19 days. days. <clears throat> yeah, um, burn plenty of time for me to get all my yeah. fucking hero points. I, this I, is... I, yeah, yeah, you've got so much time to do that. Yeah! For yeah. all your yeah. characters, go ahead. Yeah. Just start it, now. You, be, you, you best start now, probably. Yeah. It's 170 I, from now. Okay, no, but it's 170. That's not so bad. You have plenty no, of time. Exactly. And you it's, already have all the core skills on uh, all, your, all your level 80 is already completely unlocked, right? So there you go. Yeah. It's just Revenant then. I have I have oh. Necromancer and Engineer finished. I think I'm probably just going to do Daredevil and Revenant because I don't care about any of the other ones. And I have Guardian, but like, fuck Dragon Hunter. Honestly. I have map completion on my Guardian, but I'm not. I'll, I'll probably unlock Dragon Hunter just for the hell of it. But I'm never going to use it. What are your plans for Heart of Thorns release day? Stuff. I will probably be at work. <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake, Moose. This is amazing because I'm not even. I'm not even here on release day. What? Oh, you at? I'm not here for the whole weekend. Where, where, are, you where are you at? Uh, what? I am away in. It, it, it doesn't See, really mean stuff. anything because it's uh, you know an English place, and you probably won't. It won't make any sense. It would make total sense. Well, well, I am I am in a vacation. place that is not my home. No, it's not vacation. Oh, it's Mighty it's Teapot's nice. going back to the hospital. Oh, no, he's going over. Oh, oh it's go it went just went dark. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, going back to I'm the insane sleep. asylum. Uh, uh, right as I treatment. started. Uh, <sighs> right as I started uni uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I got my exam dates, and it's like three days after the launch of... Uh, yeah. Oh, what was going to be studying? That's, that's my first exam. I'm trying to actually... Um, I'm, I'm trying to push like everything right now, like ahead of time. So I'm just... I'm, yeah. That's I'm working tough. hard to try and get that done mm. before. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> prison time. He's going yeah. away to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I exploited too much in Guild Wars 2. <laughs> the Guild Wars police uh. have come to take me away. Why does Brazil hate Dragon Hunter? Because it's not very good. Yeah, it's, it it's doesn't because do people anything. play cleric dragon. I hunter. hate long. Uh, oh, yeah, it's cleric. Like it's clerics dragon hunter. I hate to you. bows. I hate bows. And like I, I just hate bows. I don't okay. like them. That's I don't it. even like it on ranger. Mm. Ace is crying, but good. Well, I'm glad. Do you think that will be? <laughs> Brazil is <you>, mean. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there will be another uh, beta weekend? Because of the no. raid problems. Yes, yes, yeah. I do. I think they'll probably do something about it. I don't it. know yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't know they if it's gonna be a whole to. weekend or whatever. But I think I think it'll be, be like two days. Something. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I, I I would expect so because that means they haven't really tested it, have they? No. Well, it, they have to for sure did. test it again to make sure the UI doesn't fail again. Exactly. Right? It, that on launch but, will be pretty but, embarrassing. Then again, they did already say that it wasn't actually done, like when when we were testing it. I'm pretty sure they said that there was still a lot of th things that they were working on with it, uh, uh, the visuals uh, as well. It so, might not like, be before <clears throat> launch though, because raids are only coming a, a couple of weeks or a month after launch, right? So, so Could we might get another test of raids sometime a little bit after launch. Who knows? But the UI, the UI is for World vs. World as well, so they need. <laughs> Oh no, what is it? <laughs> they need it to work. <laughs> oh. <Big shame. laughs> oh my <Wow>. god. <laughs> that's, what uh, the fuck? <laughs> that's pretty horrifying. <laughs> Someone figured out what the patch tool is. <laughs> Face is melting. That is a, that is terrifying. I'm saving that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's that? quick, quickly, let's end the stream before they do me. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We, I have to make sure he has some good material to get you. Oh, Come on, just yeah. go right up into the camera. I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, there was another question, but I didn't. I, uh, I've lost it now. Damn it. God damn, damn it. I think that's going to be about it, isn't it, really? I think well, so. Well done, Zach. Well yeah. done. Oh, long neck, Colin. Oh, fine. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me. I'll I'll get it on. I'll get it on. Here we go. 
When did I blow up my face? Uh, did, what did you do to go. Inks? There we go. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's oh. actually I didn't do anything to Colin's neck. I just like <laughs> removed the shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just looks really weird. When did I blow up? Maybe he's talking about Inks though. Blow up Inks's face? Wait. I don't oh. know what that means. World Avengers, when did you blow up your face? I think he means me. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I still don't get it though. Oh my god, long neck Colin. Yeah, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, this is a quality. I should get the Nemesis head as well. Yeah. I, I really wish that uh, I could put it on all of your faces as well, so that when Nemesis comes on, we all look like Nemesis. <laughs> We're all just this, this five Nemeses. Nemesises. Nem Nemesises. <laughs> oh, Nemesis -ses -ses. TB player 2112 says that is the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd go that far, but it is pretty good. Are there already any theoretical DPS calculations for the Elite Specs? Uh, no. Not but that what? I'm aware of. But Berserker is 0.8% better than uh, the, the current one. <laughs> yeah. It's 0.6%. Sorry, 0.6%. And it's Assassins is 0.6% better than Berserkers. We need those 0.6%. So... And I, I did. I, really I, I, there's no calculations, but I did watch a Dekey's video where she said that there's no point to take Tempest right now. Anyway. Oh, okay. So, or so no points because it doesn't go higher, or does it nerf the damage? Why well, it's? I, I think it's uh, that it's, it's not any difficult to use with the auras and stuff, and it doesn't really get you any multipliers. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. It's more, it's kind of too situational, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The obsession yeah. for Nemesis with you guys, though, slash face palm. I, I don't think we're obsessed with Nemesis. No, we're not I love obsessed them. with Nemesis. No, I, I wouldn't even say that's that's not very I, fair. Oh, well. I'd vote for Nemesis. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Dante. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what happened to Nemesis? Did you rage quit and salt again? Not really. No. I mean,. He just has an opinion, and people disagree with him, and he, he, he likes to kind of fuck with people. <laughs> What's his opinion this time? I, I don't know. Can, can, can we not? Even, can we not? It doesn't even exist. No, no, no. no. We, uh, you guys, think he's wrong, don't you, Droyer? He does. Um, but that's fine. <laughs> and, and No, 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 guys. guys this okay, is very, I, okay, very important. Oh, me, this okay, is incredibly important. Follow Droyer's stream. When Droyer streams, bring up Nemesis at all costs. <laughs> As much as possible. Oh, I want to. I really want to know what's going on here. Please tell me. Drew. I don't even okay, know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna That's have to be serious funny. here for a second. It's not that I necessarily disagree with uh, what he's trying to highlight as the problem, but the way he does it is horrible. I have to say, and okay. that that's all right. He can do okay. whatever he wants, but as long as it's it's yeah. Okay. What he does has, he do? He has certain points that are completely legit, but he comes across with it. Uh, wrongly. So you support him. That's what you're saying. No, <laughs> I do not. You're I, either with us. You're either I, with Nemesis or against Nemesis, Daroya. That's how it works. Yeah, there's no on the fence. Yeah, there's no that, middle that, side. That, I am <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mean boots are on Someone's the fence. Someone's asking me when part two is coming out. The last I heard was that part two was coming out this week. So. Maybe it comes out today, but I wouldn't count on it. I um, think he's been busy with real life stuff. If 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 I can be be a little bit serious for a minute, there is oh. this this thing with with Nemesis. It's kind of nothing, really. It's just a big nothing, and from what I can see of it, anyway, it's just people kind of trolling each other, and then the trolling gets taken seriously, and then it it's nothing. It's not anything. It's just people on the internet. What do you expect? There are there are certain people out there that do not like. I I'm all for trolling. I'm all for people trolling me and for for me trolling other people. And I don't give a shit if someone says on Twitch chat, Brazil, you're a fat neck beard. And now I know there are going to be a thousand people saying that in Twitch chat. <laughs> yep. Who who hates wooden <laughs> potatoes and makes fun of Aurora Peachy? I really don't give a shit. It's the internet. It's fine. And so there are people out there that are happy to troll, but whenever people start saying that, start trolling them, 
They just can't handle it. <laughs> well, that's that? that's the problem. I think, oh, but it's, it's just trolling. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I think as soon as you cross the barrier of, uh, especially like YouTubers versus YouTubers or like Twitch official faces, so to speak, as to a certain degree, some of us are becoming. When you when you cross that barrier and you're not, um, you're uh, what's it called? You're not uh, an, uh, anonymous anymore. You have gone into a uh, completely different territory, and suddenly it's not necessarily just trolling. It's it's it becomes more than that for some people. And when that happens, you have to take that seriously because that's when drama escalates and that's when it's unhealthy for the entire community as a whole. And that's what my main problem with Nemesis, the way that Nemesis does things. Okay, that's it. I'm switching my vote to Droyer. That was a good <laughs> I like that. Yeah, um, but I also think that people that are still anonymous that make ice bow metas and kick necromancers out of party for no reason. I think that's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, too. but a lot of these people are incentivized by your former opinions. Yeah. Like to do that. And like that's other why I spent two years it's... trying to fucking fix it all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and people don't realize even still there's a certain level of apology. But when people start commenting on my video about elitism saying, you know, fuck you Brazil, you're a piece of shit. You're the reason why I didn't enjoy this game for two years. Like, I don't really care about comments like that. And when people comment and say, LOL, look at this loser, I don't really give a shit. It's fine. Like, it's the internet. You can make a point and people can take whatever they want away from it. And it's the internet and nobody gives a shit. Like, I have friends in real life. I know, big surprise. Make fun of me for that, too. But, like, we bullshit with each other and I call my friend a dumbass. And he calls me fat and stupid. And we don't care. Like, it's just... Who gives a shit? Words some, are words. Words. But, yeah, but some people things. care, and like you, you don't have to though. Like caring no, about of course, too much of course, is a it's problem. a it's a choice. We can talk about the fact that it's a choice in another time, but like you, some people do not want to like. What is happening? Everyone's laughing or something. Yeah, I know Looks everyone's burnt. saying that Brazil's getting salty. No, I'm not getting salty at all. I don't give a shit. All right, I'm just all right. making a point. It, it, I, did, I didn't try to start drama here. I, I, uh, you're not. You're not. Started, you you succeeded, like, Droyer. I see that. Thank you very much. <laughs> fight, fight, fight comments and like, um, we're we're good, guys. It's. I think. I, yeah. I think it's mostly my fault because I asked these questions. Because <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. So when people explain stuff to me, it brings it's up. It's fault. It is my fault, but I would like to point everybody to the imager image that Zach Sal just uh, yeah. linked. Is there a new that one? That actually really <laughs> scares me. It scares me a lot because uh, that's like a really old picture. That's when he was in another room, and I don't know where he would have gotten that. <laughs> Stalking you. He went back a long time. I have. I want to you... know why Bootsburg looks better than me. Why is this yeah. a thing? Where because that's face... just life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Are just you a, a king? giant blob of fat. What is going on? Yeah, Dreyer is king. Dreyer is king. You're yeah. in that fractal guild that had that tournament that one time. Yes, I am. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. What's up with oh. that? Okay. What's going on that's all I need to know. I'm fine now. I understand. <laughs> yeah. This, uh... Okay, I, that, whoosh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I have no idea. It's an yeah. I in King. W-O-E. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard of that. Uh, it's a heavy raiding guild. Um, we we took down... Um, the first boss of AC. Pretty hardcore. I think we were a world first on that one. Yeah. Nobody? Nobody's no giving props for that? No? I'm Thumbs okay. up? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean Zenily says there's a limit on shit like slurs. This is not acceptable. No, um, I don't care. I, if I disagree. Do. Yeah, I mean, I really disagree with that. Um, I mean, if you act like an asshole, you get treated like an asshole. So you want to let these people reap what they sow, you know? I mean, if you're going to be a dick to someone on a video, the best kind of cure for that is letting everyone else see how much of a dick they're being, and then they'll be punished for being an asshole. Someone from presumably King is asking me why, what's wrong with King? There's nothing uh, wrong. I, I just understand, I understand his position now a little <laughs> bit more. 
Yeah, That's, exactly. Talk shit, get hit. Exactly. Thank yeah, you, playful yeah. sloth. You know, you don't need to censor people. You you can just I mean, let people get punished for what they say. When you grow up and you're actually getting like beat up and like abused physically and yeah, like actual verbal up. abuse, yeah. when that happens to you in real life, like it happened to me for like all of my real life, you start to really not take stuff ser stuff seriously on the internet. Like no one is going to hurt me on the internet. I don't care. And there 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 is this whole position of how like words make people feel like shit and words feel bad and yeah i can understand that because verbal mm. abuse was definitely a thing for a while but you can also not take that stuff seriously yeah. you can have thick skin as they say i think i think kinda... i think that's a good uh that's a good way to think of it for your own protection for sure that's a good way to think of it and if you can Take, have a thick skin and not take things seriously when people say bad stuff about you on the internet. That's a fantastic thing to do. Yeah. However, there are that people mean that you should turn around and talk bad about other people because they should also have thick skin. Sure, because there are people that don't, and there are people that can't handle things to the degree that I have, and that's fine. Yeah. Like I'm not saying that my position is the only correct one, but I mean, I used to think that. Like, you can go watch my old videos and hear me talk where I just didn't give a shit at all. It was all just swearing and stuff. And people didn't like those. So I started to realize that. And perspective. Perspective is bigger than anything else. Whenever yeah. you start to understand more perspectives and multiple perspectives at the same time, that's when you start to grow. And that's when you finally understand what maturity is. So there's a reason why, like, I occasionally say a swear word, but it's not every other word. And why I'm not making fun of people all the time. And why I'm not assuming everyone's position is the same as mine anymore. That's so great. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, this is, this, is, this is a really stupid... I really don't like this discussion because... Um... This is a ridiculously polarizing thing, and it's a really big deal on the internet right now, uh, in ways that I really don't want to get into, because both sides are equally as uh, judgy and vitriolic as the other, and, I, and to be honest, I really don't care, and I don't ever want to go there, because it's stupid and it's a massive waste of time, but uh, the, 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 my take on it is that, you know, you don't want to encourage people to... You don't want to encourage people to be offended by stuff. It's just you, you, you also want to don't do want to encourage opposite. people to offend people. No, but I mean, or not necessarily offend people, but be hurtful to people. You don't want sure. to like things are going to offend people, no matter what you do, probably. However, intentionally going out of your way to hurt people is not good. Uh, the, like the, if I commented on every single one of Dante's videos. I said, Dante, you're a worthless piece of shit. I hate you. Like, there's a point where Dante's probably going to start to wonder, is this guy being serious or not? And it's going to cross the Deroyer threshold, as he would probably say. And my threshold. sugar glider's barking now. Barking? I don't know it, you, does it bark? Can you oh. hear that? Yeah, yeah we I can. heard that. I thought it was a tiny dog. Wow. I'll go get him out. Hold All on. Right. Yeah, he's very, un he's very unhappy with Brazil right now. He's saying, "You let me out of here right now." Man, is he gonna show it to us? I will. <laughs> <laughs> all excited, like. Ah, sugar I hope so. Oh, oh, he's gonna show it to you, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh, yeah, if if raids had worked, this pseudo drama wouldn't have happened. You're absolutely right. We'd have had something to talk about instead of this stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually know what the whole situation is still. I'm just... Uh, it's, <laughs> it's kind of way more meta now. It's way more meta than... It, uh, it, it's, it, we're now kind of being incredibly That's general. Just oh, box. wow. <gasps> oh! Wow. Very cute. Oh, oh he's hiding. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Sugar All glider right. hype. Yeah. Aww. Oh. He's going to jump out now. He's going to eat my face. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> 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 Boots is all into it. Boots is like, come here, let me pet you. Yeah. Oh, that's so Aww. cool. That's mm. cool. Very cool. All right. So the name tags are way off. Yes, that is a, yeah. a funny joke we started at the start of the stream when we had to switch the Skype call around. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I so think anyways, Guild Wars that's... 2 is a good game. Guild Wars 2 is a good game. Uh, if you like <laughs> Guild Wars 2, it'll be a good idea to follow the stream. Because the more followers we have, the more Guild Wars 2 related it will be. Am I right, guys? That's right. That's right. Uh, but also, if you like funny e-drama, hang around. Because that will happen in... Um, probably soon, when whenever Nemesis even sets foot on the internet. And Inks will shake his head. Yeah, disapprovingly, but I think now the time has come to uh, get some ringing endorsements for each other and then uh, host someone. Oh, oh, we gotta do um, as or, the people we are currently set up. Why is Nemesis being uh, yeah. <laughs> not Nemesis Brazil? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I'd use. <laughs> oh God. Mm. Okay, so, uh, Brazil. You can either roleplay as Deroya and endorse him or endorse yourself. I'm Brazil. I don't okay. care about Deroya. So subscribe Aww. to me on YouTube. <laughs> By Googling or searching on YouTube, Brazil GW2, you will find me. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, Boots, you can either endorse Brazil again or be yourself. Uh, I am also Brazil. <laughs> 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 and I find that I, <laughs> I have strong opinions in my channel that you can come watch and search for Brazil mm, Guild Wars 2. And if you do, you will find... What is, what's in the thing now? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! A cute yeah. Brazil. <laughs> love it, love it. It's pretty good. Mm. Wow. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm World of Enders. Come look at my videos if you like at uh, YouTube slash World of Enders. Um, and other than that, I might be streaming on YouTube now because that Brazil Ooh. gave me that idea. Oh. Instead of on Twitch, Ooh. which I don't do very often. I'll be cool. Yeah. yeah. Be sure to remember to subscribe so you can get notifications of that. All right, Inks. Okay, My yeah, name I'm is World of Inks. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Inks could probably do a better job uh, of hyping me than I can. <laughs> Inks? Go, oh, wait. <laughs> I'm confused. So my name is World of Enders. You should come check my channel out because <laughs> I do Minecraft with my girlfriend where I throw rings at her at Paris, and it was very funny and awesome. Oh. Uh, I mean... And I also uh, am way better at making terrible builds than everybody else in the Guild Wars 2 community, and they're always entertaining. Intentionally. And, uh, intentionally, that's correct, intentionally, and... I have the mighty wooden potatoes from time to time on my channel, and uh, Brazil doesn't like him, so you should come watch. Yeah, it's actually true. Brazil <laughs> hates wooden potatoes. It's 100% yeah. confirmed. I hate wooden potatoes. Yeah. You heard it from me. <laughs> I hate wooden potatoes. <laughs> I well, like that's that. getting taken out of context. I, like I know. I know. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm Moinks, and I do Moinks. videos, <laughs> and I'm a big fan of Druid. Yeah. Yeah. Check me out at uh, Moinks uh, YouTube <laughs> <laughs> and Twitter. Uh, there you go. Mm. And Twitch. Oh yeah, I that's Twitch a lot. And yeah. Twitch a lot. That's Moinks. Moinks. Oh, I guess and I'll do. Dor yeah. Uh, I guess I'm Deroy. Just yeah. Like I'm just <laughs> yeah. I spike your mind on a regular basis on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe for that. It's pretty great. I also stream fractals. What? Yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. No, yeah. You're, you're a drawer, but... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fractals, so follow on Twitch. There is a link uh, below here as well, to everyone here. Uh, but yeah. I'll, I'll roleplay as myself now. <laughs> I'm a teapot. I make videos sometimes on YouTube, so subscribe if you want to. Follow the stream for more dank memes and funny e-drama. E e which is always good, right? You can never have enough funny e-drama. Um, and there's loads of things you can click on below this stream. There's so many things you can click on. Maybe you could click on some of them. Who knows? You could aspire to be that them. guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, many. I'm people. just glad that nobody... Give, uh... give, give all the love to everyone. Yeah, every, if... I expect to see everyone in this in this Twitch stream. If you're not already subscribed and followed to everyone here, do so. Otherwise, we as your senpais will never notice you again. 
And that's something um, you don't want. I'm glad that nobody called me Buttsper today. Oh, but yeah, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, damn it. My name is Buttsper. Oh. My name is Buttsper. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I fucking love that. I was giggling. I was damn same. it. We forgot to make that a permanent meme. What a disappointment. Yeah. We suck. Yeah. It was very funny, though, when he called you Buttspur. Did you watch it, though? I think it's on their channel now. Isn't it? I don't know. I think it's on their YouTube. Yeah. Mm. I get them to take I, it I, down. I need to go find, find that. it and cut it up and Buttsburg. make a, something mm. out of it. Yeah, let Sampo do, like, a, a crazy uh, rap with it. Just, but, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be very good, actually. <laughs> that should happen. All right, that's going to be all from us now, guys. Uh, but don't worry, there'll be loads more stuff from everyone here. And to be honest, you should watch it all. I mean, why wouldn't you? Consume yeah. it all. Cheers, guys. I said.